I'm going to have to check that one out. What's going on, guys? Ryan here back again. We are live. RGT podcast, I believe, episode 47 or 46. What's going on? How you guys doing out there in YouTube land? Hope you guys enjoyed the show. For those that have already been here, what's going on? Shout out to you guys. Uh, go ahead, do us a favor, hit that like button, share it out, tweet it out, and let's get into these topics. I'm here with the fellas right now, and the rest of them are going to be joining us momentarily. Bossy Games UK is going to be a little late because he snowed in, but he'll definitely be joining us, as well as um, Time for Princess. She also will be joining us as well. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the show. Let's get into these topics. But first, let me introduce the panel. Uh, go ahead, uh, Mets. Right, hey, no. happy fight, everybody. Happy RGT day. Hey, too late now. You got me started, yeah. fam. Uh, <laughs> happy RGT day. Um, I'm very happy to be here. Happy to be with the fellas. Um, and um, yeah, I don't really think I got anything else to add. What's up? All right. Go ahead, Craig. Uh, what's up? What's happening? Uh, this read something in the chat that got me cracked up. Juan uh, Snow there uh, kind of caught me off guard. Uh, shout out to everybody here. Thanks for the run. Glad to be here. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, ready to, to talk about it and get her done. All righty. And uh, Carlos. As always, Friday nights, Friday afternoons, RGT podcast, episode. 47 and i would like to give a big old shout out to the 28 people watching us right now and the 11 thumbs up that we have currently um hey gamer by choice not by trend and yeah man let's get on these topics all right um like i said everybody else should be joining us momentarily but let's uh let's get into a quick little topic here first of all this is gonna be i'm getting to panel questions so we can get through the show a good chunk of this show um what are you guys playing well uh, well, I played Resident Evil 2. Uh, yeah. I got mad because people kept saying it was somebody on the name Mr. X. Everybody knows Mr. X is the black guy from the X Files that Mulder always got in touch <laughs> with. Uh, I played. Uh, I played a little. I played some Witcher 3. Shout out to El Matador uh, for that one. I played that. I like, I like that game. Then I uh, I jumped on uh, the Destiny demo today with uh, Sick Humor and a few others. It was fun. So shout out to them. That's why. Okay. okay. Um, Mets, what are you playing? All right. Okay. Okay. So don't judge me. I've been playing a bunch of bullshit, bullshit ass games because I was chasing uh, the number one spot on the leaderboards of Gamer Score on Xbox, and I achieved it. I was number one, but unfortunately, it means I played a bunch of crappy games. But um, I am playing Doom right now, and honestly, I'm kicking myself that I have not played Doom, 2016 Doom, until now, because it is such a fantastic game that mm -hmm. I started it up on Xbox. I was like, damn, this, this controller's not doing this game justice, and started the game all over again on PC. And um, I'm, I'm absolutely loving it right now. What a great game. I can't wait till Doom Eternal. Gonna... Okay. Hey, if I don't get a chance to say what's up to everybody in the chat, just know I see y'all. What's going on? Um, do me a favor, hit that like button and just tweet it out. I appreciate y'all that's already here. Thank you guys so much. Uh, you know, you're now with this Friday, my favorite day of the week, RGT. And, uh, you know, just talking about everything gaming and just chilling with you guys. So that's one of the best things about being a YouTuber to me personally, just to chill with everybody. But, um, <laughs> Oh, Lord. Carlos, what are you playing before I get into this thing? Bro, I've been everywhere. I played some of the Anthem demo on PC. Been playing some uh, Rich Racer 7 on my PS3. Yeah. Uh, I went back to Gran Turismo just to get some a couple of more trophies for the GT Sport. And been everywhere playing Darksiders 3. Uh, I downloaded... Battlefield 5, played it a little bit before you see your origins. And overall, man, just playing little by little, you know, just getting my ways around, just certain things, just to have some fun and time to kill during the weekends. Okay. 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 Um, I think it's no question what I've been playing. I streamed it with you guys, uh, Resident Evil 2, which is absolutely amazing. I think we're going to just, uh, we'll talk about that separately, though. 
Um, mm-hmm. But it's definitely amazing. I'm enjoying that game like ridiculously. Uh, let me give a quick shout out to a few people. Let me shout out to Mr. Boom uh, for the Breakfast with Boom podcast. I was on there earlier. So shout out to him and uh, everybody there. Hope you guys, um, that was definitely a good time. Now let's go ahead and get into uh, the actual uh, topics. Let's get into this. Now, <laughs> obviously, you guys saw the thumbnail. I <laughs> went and did this thumbnail for a reason because I just got done streaming it with you, uh, Anthem. Um, has anyone played the, the beta or is it just me? I know Craig played it, but anybody else played the beta? You cheated. We were supposed to play it after the show, fam. <laughs> no, <she didn't. laughs> I actually, no, I haven't played it. I've been at work all day. No, you haven't played it yet? Okay. Well, let me tell you, uh, Craig, you want to, you want to tag in here? Cause I'll definitely get you in here on this now too. But, um, yeah. what do you, what do you think about it, Craig? It's destiny. It's destiny. It's destiny. Look, it's destiny, Monster Hunter, and a little bit of Mass Effect Andromeda, just all rolled into one uh, MMO. Awesome. It's again, it, you're, you're going around. I mean, it, it, you got some of the, the the flying things look like the stuff from The Witcher. So it's not <laughs> like they they went. And again, that's a compliment. I'm not saying this is all the game now. They uh-huh. went. It shows from some of the better games. And they just say we're just going to make a minutia of, of the game. I didn't play the story yet, so I don't know what that's like. Um, the customization of the of the mech stuff that's actually more in depth than I thought it would be. For a, mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's a throwback to what Bioware used to be. So uh, seeing the Frostbite engine run like this, and yep. then having to go through Mass Effect and drama, that's a crime. Yeah. Uh, but to see it like this. Because that's what it feels like. It literally feels like the same combat for Mass Effect and Drama. It's except you fly and uh, okay. you can't take cover. At least I haven't learned how to take cover yet. Shout out to Sick Humor, like like he said, you can just jump and fly around. That's your cover. Right. Uh, you never run into anybody yet that's able to take you down out of the sky. Doesn't mean it won't happen. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's it sounds great. Uh, it's a uh, I like the environments. But again, it's like. The lushness of Monster Hunter with the monsters, okay, okay? and with with a gun from Mass Effect, and, and you're running around like it's Destiny. It's the okay. same thing. So it's take all those. If you like those three games, you'll you'll enjoy Anthem. I call it Destiny Three because that's what it felt like. I was just running around playing Destiny. Okay. Uh, shout out to Foxy. He's on his way here. So, like I said, he's going to be joining us in a little bit. I know he's like snowed in, but he's on his way here. So, shout out to the Fox. Oh, so this here. Um, what's up, Jackknife? Uh, so, yeah, Anthem, my thoughts on Anthem. I kept getting that question. I was streaming with you guys. I know I was, I was so busy. Like, that's one thing about streaming games and you have audience. Like, you always like double back and you do stuff that's stupid in the game. Uh, I wanted to save it, obviously, for this uh, particular show. Um, my thoughts on Anthem are pretty uh, obvious. Uh, number one, I, I enjoyed the game. I like what they're doing. I think it's good. It's got potential. The only thing that's kind of rubbing me the wrong way is obviously the publisher, and that's EA. You know, EA automatically just got me looking at it like, uh, I don't want this game to turn into this or go this direction, you know? EA is fine sometimes, but... I mean, the game has already has some retar- retarded stuff in here, like twenty dollar cosmetic items. Really? I'm not, I'm not, yeah, you can pay for a um, a skin, which is basically you know cosmetic like that, and it's twenty bucks for just one skin. Wow! wow. I that didn't know right that. There right now is scaring me with the game. I, I'm liking though. I like what they're doing with it. It's it's definitely dope. Now they did. To be fair, they did say pricing wasn't necessarily confirmed yet, but you know, as of right now, it's advertised as twenty bucks for just one skin. Yeah, that mm-hmm. it, it, and I truly believe Bioware is not the problem. It's EA. Yeah, Bioware, they got to get away. Bioware put the effort into the game because it shows the game is fun. It's very seamless. You know, yeah. you jumping and flying and just doing all these crazy aerial maneuvers, uh, taking out enemies. Everything, everything's very, very fast. Everything is very like you know, snap of the finger. Like you know, it's really, really good. Yeah, um, there was a little bit of lag in the game. Hopefully, they get that ironed out when the game eventually launches. Hopefully, that <laughs> happens. But other than that, though, I mean, that's it. I'm definitely going to be playing that as soon as the uh, show is over. I'm be hopping back on that. So I'm, I'm definitely yeah. doing that. Yeah. Mr. Foxy Games UK, what is going on, my brother? Hey, how's it going, everyone? How you doing, man? It's been, it's been, how's, how's everything been doing, man? You, you really, really good? Yeah, I just, just got home, man. I was like 200 miles away. 
Oh, it's wow. in here. The roads are icy. There's a lot of traffic. Are your feet frozen yet? <laughs> no, no, no. My, no, no. The vehicle I drive is, is crusty. I'm not worried <laughs> about the cold. It's just, you know, it's, it's, it's one thing having a decent car. Mm -hmm. It's another thing not being able to really get home with it because of traffic. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just ridiculous. Like, you got people that are so hesitant. And I don't blame them. The roads are icy. So, you know, people are being extra careful. But sometimes you cause an accident being, being too careful. careful. Mm. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I, I know that from experience, my friend, especially living here in New York City, especially when it gets really snowy and then people just start driving super slow. And, you know, I'm playing in my car as well. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out. <laughs> so a little bit of loot, no lie. No lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did, you, uh, did you play the beta by any chance for Anthem? Oh, I'm not interested in Anthem. I'm never going to be interested in Anthem. It's not my thing. It's not my stick, man. That's yeah, not you can play for free if you wanted to get into it. It's on PS4. Uh, you can download uh, it's the demo. not free, is it, really? Is it, though? Because it's my yeah. time. It's my time, though. My time isn't free. Ah, I got you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> hey, yo, Foxy, what, what games have you been playing uh, this week? Dude, I've been, like, I've been literally living off of the Nintendo Switch like it was some kind of benefit, like it was some <laughs> welfare system. Honestly, I've been so reliant on it. It's like food stamps for me right now. <laughs> JRPG oh, food stamps, because I'm really into... This is the very first time I've ever played a Yeez game, right? Yeez 8, Lacrimosa of Dana or Dana, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's the very first time I'm playing this game from this developer or publisher. Mm -hmm. And uh, to be honest with you, I thought, oh my goodness. The first three, four hours, I'm like, I want my 50 pounds back. I really want my 49.99 UK pounds back. This is pitiful. Like the graphics aren't nothing to sing about and the gameplay is pitifully slow to get going but you know what it's a bit like red dead redemption 2 like that not graphics but in terms of getting going the story picking up pace because it's a very very long game so obviously the action didn't really kick off from the beginning but now i'm into it and i've met all these characters and i've unlocked all these areas and right. I'm probably only a quarter of the way through the game but it's now i'm like damn this game's amazing it's like sometimes if you don't really give a game the time and attention and just give it a give it a try like don't judge it immediately especially an rpg because they're naturally slow by their very genre right right um but you know it's very easy for you to just dismiss games these days because of we're very impatient because of the, the age we're living in it's a digital age People just don't have time to even pick up a remote to change a channel no more. Do you right. know what I mean? Um, so I'm glad I stuck with it. And now I'm thinking it's worth 100 UK pounds because oh. this game is amazing. Like you soon get over the, the graphics aren't bad. I'll tell you what's wrong with the graphics. Okay. It's got this grainy look to it. It's like it's sand. It's like you're playing a game and someone's thrown sand in your eyes and you just see grains of every. It's like, I don't know, wheat germ gaming. It's just grainy. I mean, you know it is saying? not to bash the Switch, but uh, that particular game looks pretty bad on the Switch compared to the other platforms. But, but the thing is, the Switch, I know for a fact, because I've got like 100 games on the Switch, and right. I tell you, at least 30 or 40 of them are AAA games, like big budget games. I'll be honest with you, having played a lot of JRPGs and other games on the Switch, including Nintendo's own staple titles, this is just lazy programming. The Switch is far more capable of what Yeez 8 is doing. That is like just beyond the PlayStation Vita level graphics, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I would even PS2 could have done it. Not in that resolution, but it could have done it. Okay. I was about to ask um, this question. Obviously, this is one of the uh, topics, but um, what's your thoughts on the whole Metroid thing? You know, Metroid Prime, I think, 4 uh, has been canceled, but now it's going to be redone by um, Retro, which I think. Well, I'll be honest. I'll be honest about this. I'll just say this real quick. Mm -hmm. I am I am pleasantly surprised at the maturity of the community regarding this delay. But I don't know why the same the same um, grace isn't given to say an Xbox game that's been like scrapped or 
delayed for like because you know this game is not coming out from yeah. Nintendo until 2000 and like I don't know 22 23 mm -hmm. yep. you know that's got another two three years of development ahead of it so if they scrapped it so I don't know why yeah, there's just a bit of hip hop I mean I'm I'm on one hand I'm impressed with the community for being mm -hmm. so grown up and mature about the delay but on the other hand there's a part of me that feels well you know I stepped through and witnessed a lot of hypocrisy with games being delayed on the Xbox and I'm like oh that's the community for you <laughs> do you know what I'm saying yeah, Nintendo seems yeah. to get a, a pass yeah Usually they do get a pass. I think this is probably the the one time I'll actually have to agree with the whole like community as a whole. I would rather the the original team make it and you know actually do it right than a team you know trying it for the first time and messing it up and not even getting close to this the level of quality that it's known for. And that's what I think what happened. I remember when they first showed off the title card for it. Um, you know, they basically say, you know, it's coming soon, expect gameplay. And I'm pretty sure they looked at that gameplay. They was like, you know what? It's not up to our it's not up to par. And they basically say, you know what, let's scrap it and let's just go with something else. Let's let's well, go with retro well, to redo I did it. tweet. I did tweet out, Ryan. Um mm -hmm. but when I heard of the delay, I said, Well, this is ridiculous because this shows you how stubborn and foolish Nintendo can be sometimes when really it should have been retro studios. Right, developing the game from the very beginning. I don't even know why they went to Bandai Namco or whichever other studio they went to, but it should have always been Retro Studios. But then we don't know the background story. We don't know what Retro Studios were doing. Of Perhaps course. they were finishing a game that we don't know about. Yeah, and they didn't have like they couldn't expand the team, or it was too much pressure for them. We don't know because they haven't done anything for like four years, five years right now. Yeah. So they can't be just getting paid by Nintendo for twiddling thumbs. They've got to be doing something, building engines. I don't know what they're doing, assisting other studios, but they must have been busy it has for been Nintendo to thing. overlook them. Because yeah. I'm not being funny. This is a first-person game, right? Yep. That's Name really one right. Japanese studio that's been competent at first-person shooters. I can't think of any. Yeah. Very, very true. Very, very true. I'll give a quick shout out to Sick Humor TV in the chat here. I said what's up to him, but I gotta give him a proper shout out. Shout out to Sick in the chat. Shout out to the PlayStation Plus uh, podcast that he does. So shout out to him. Yep. Um <laughs> look at Craig all action. Like, yup. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so um let's uh let's continue this. So let's get into the Sony talk. Actually, no, no, let's continue on Nintendo. Um, so we have a new supposedly we're going to get a new switch in 2019 and it's going to have an upgraded screen And this is just you know, this just came out. So hey, wait, 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 I didn't get to tell you nothing about Metro. Oh, I'm what sorry. Go ahead. My bad. My bad. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> my bad. All right. Firstly, um, just to answer you real quick, Foxy, uh, the, the Nintendo fans are being like this and giving them a pass because Nintendo fans give Nintendo a pass for fucking everything. Okay. They give them a pass for charging 20 bucks for online and, and cloud saves and 35 year old games and and then oh it's only twenty dollars shut up you'll take what you're given because that's what you do and and on another note um i i actually don't agree I, i'm not, i think it's real spooky i think it's very fishy that first off the game wasn't given to retro from the beginning and secondly that they scrapped it all and are given giving it to them now i i think i talked about this last week on rgt but um but yeah i think it's spooky that's all i gotta say well, yeah, spooky, oh, define, could you could you elaborate on spooky? Just so I'm, I don't know what spooky means. It's uh, it's suspect. It's suspect. It's it's sus. Like I don't trust it. I, I'm I'm giving it skeptical. It's like shady. Wise. Shady. You think it's a bit shady? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it just doesn't sit right with me. And and retro by name is the original team that made uh Metroid Prime, but retro I, I'm pretty sure almost all the talent that was there at the time is gone now. So. I don't know. Well, Mid, I'll say one thing in def in Nintendo's defense when it comes to delaying games compared to, say, other, I'm not going to point fingers, but other manufacturers of consoles, that at least you're guaranteed, you're almost guaranteed quality. So no matter whether it's delayed or not by three years, five years, or ten years, with Nintendo, there's a certain level of quality you can expect. So absolutely, other, absolutely. And then with other companies who delay games, it still comes out crap. <laughs> Crackdown. Uh, what? 
No, no, I didn't say crackdown. I said crack. <laughs> I didn't either. I coughed, I cough, bro. I coughed. I'm not going to point Those out companies because I'm not playing that game. Not that you are. I'm not going to get into all that. But one thing I will say is even Sony has released games that have been delayed forever. And when they were dropped, they yeah. weren't as amazing as they were first hyped up to be. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, Last so, Guardian, right? Last but Guardian, at least with yeah. Nintendo, you don't get that. With Nintendo, they either take their sweet ass time about things or they do things in a moderate amount of time, but you're always guaranteed a level of quality. You might not like the genre, you might mm -hmm. not like the style or the graphic art style. Heck, you might not even like the game, but it's exactly. still quality for those who do like it. Yeah, they, they optimize the game heavily for their consoles. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much what they do. That's what Nintendo's always been known for. They push their hardware uh, strictly for their for their um, first party. So. This mm -hmm. is why I like. This is why I like that they're so conservative and stubborn on one hand, but on the other hand, very sometimes it's not good for the consumer because, you know, if if when you're dealing with a stubborn company, it means our way, our way, not right. your way, our way. But they have opened up like lately. They seem like this new management seems to really take more of the community's, uh, you know, input in more. You know, they seem more mm -hmm. hands on. This Nintendo, I like this version of Nintendo more than say the nintendo of the wii u and we i prefer i like this nintendo this is a good start yep there yeah. you go i agree definitely agree so um what y'all think about the whole possibility of them coming out with i think they said smaller switch that's what it's saying a smaller switch with an upgraded screen let me see if i got that on my screen here one second you gotta give michael pack to credit for this i know yeah, people this like is true to, it's small i know people like to like you yep, know this let me put mr screen. man and yeah, he does get things wrong, but I distinctly remember him saying, yeah, first, this is what it looks like. Of all the people, he said that Nintendo is probably going to make a portable where you won't be able to have the conventional Joy Cons, it'll just be connected to it, and it'll probably sell for around 200 bucks. He said it, yeah, he did. a long, long, long time ago. And here hey, we are, he's got Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, this year it's, it's not going to be better though. It's not going to be a better. I don't know who said it's going to be a better screen, but it's not going to be better in any way other than uh, size, form factor. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it's gonna, they're, they're going to skim back on it. They're actually going to cut a hell of a lot out of it. Yeah, that's so you're not going to be able to play certain games on it. Right. Trust me. That was, that was part of the rumor. It wasn't. It wouldn't have the ability to go on to the TV. It no, would just it be will, it will. No, you, you, there's no reason why that it can't still use the same dock because they can't make it that smaller. Right? No, because I'm thinking about they're making power. it smaller, just strictly going strictly handheld only. No, no, I think what yeah. it's more about is cost cutting. It's not more about, um, you know, yeah, it's going to lose features, but I think their whole objective is to make it cheap. So uh -huh. that means a lot of cuts from the, the, the system that I own now. And I uh -huh. think I'd rather stick with the premium version rather than the 2DS version, if you get what I mean. <laughs> right, yeah, right, right. Of course, of course. Okay. I can definitely agree with that. Um, Let's go to this next topic here. Wait, wait. You're moving from Switch already? No, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know if anybody else has anything else they want to say. Well, what about the uh, xCloud allegedly going to be part of... Uh, Switch. If I read that report correct, uh, Wednesday. Okay. Oh wow! So okay. Well, if X Cloud goes to Switch, if you want my opinion on it, um, that's just part of what Microsoft wants, right? All their uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I mean, you remember, you remember last year's uh, model, survive together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they yeah, don't consider right. Xbox as a console no more. They consider it as more of a um, not even a brand. It's more like a it's a service. It's a service. It's a service. service. Yeah, you, I call it a service, but some people call it more than that. They just call it Microsoft, where it's on every single platform. Where it's on. It's a, Xbox. It's a platform. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I, I, I mean, whatever you want to call it, and they're they like, everywhere. Yeah. That's what they want. Yeah, but here's the here's the here's the kicker. Here is the kicker, ladies and gentlemen. I said, just eight or nine weeks after the Switch launched, that it would become number two. And I was argued down on my own podcast. Yeah, I saw that. Missed in my own comments. People were coming at me left, right, and center saying, ah, how's Xbox going to be overtaken by Switch? Yep. So Xbox just 41 million sold like weeks ago. You know Switch, my favorite comment? 32 million sold. It's 9 million behind Xbox. Yep. And it's not even two years old yet. 
You know what's funny? The comment, one comment I read back when you got that slander was, um, and I remember correctly because it was it was burnt in my mind, and I just couldn't help but laugh it off. But um, dude said you spent too much time around Ryan the professional. Do you remember that that comment? <laughs> So you spent too much time on that Ryan guy, because no, 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 it wasn't. I'll be honest with you, Ryan. Uh, you may be confusing me with someone else because I don't think I knew you then. It was, it was. I don't want to call this person's name because I've got no ill will towards them. Was it back doing, in, um, okay, I hope they're I doing well. I hope they're doing well in life. It's just somebody that was on my podcast. Oh, um, on the game quite game. regularly for a while, and then they weren't on anymore. Okay. Um, and we had we had a bit of a fallout, silly fallout. It was more like I when I when mm. I believe is the thing with me, I'm stubborn, right? I'm a Taurus, okay. Right. I don't believe in horoscopes, but if you do believe in horoscopes, Taurus are notoriously stubborn people, okay. Yes. Once they believe something, they stick to it, hell and high water. So I firmly believe that Nintendo is going to overtake Xbox in game sales in positioning of console positioning sales overall sooner rather than later is going to happen within this generation that's what i said mm. i said it and within and this were, year bro I, and people were saying think? people were saying to me ah you're this you're that how can that be oh, right, are you right. seriously like and i'm like all right all right so i kind of lost my temper of because course. i remember at the time i had just quit smoking cigarettes as well so i was already my i was already tense you mm. know I, I was already up against the wall uh, just for that, right? I'd not long just quit smoking cigarettes. <laughs> and um, I just lost my temper with that person, which I deeply regret now. But in the end, I was right. So I guess, uh, you know, vindication. Okay. Vindication. I got you. I got you. Uh, anybody else want to add anything to that? Anybody else? Yeah, but what do you think about the nine Wait, million? Wait, to Xbox getting laughed by Nintendo or? Yeah, but it's nine million behind. It's actually nine million behind, so yeah, it, it's yeah, it's right there, man. Over. It's gonna happen this year, man. It's, it's gonna, gonna happen, happen this year. Yeah. They sold uh, ten million consoles in like three months. Yeah, it, it's insane. It, it's really on the insane. topic of X Cloud being on Switch, though. Honestly, that's awesome for me because I'm obsessed with achievements, and for some reason, Nintendo doesn't want to put them in their system. So, if mm -hmm. I can get Xbox achievements and gamer score on a Switch. Trust me, I'm going to be playing all my Xbox games on my Switch. Yeah, that's really, really? Cool. You were playing your Xbox games on Switch with lower frame rates, lower resolution, lower everything. I love achievements, sir. <laughs> but you still get those achievements on your Xbox, won't you? Yeah, but not on the go. No, nah, but this is xCloud, so it'll oh, actually be go. streaming okay, the yeah, game. Oh, portable, portable, right, okay. Right, right, right. 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 Yeah. I get you. I Getting achievements gonna, on the toilet, baby. I'm just going to swap them over, like, <laughs> take the lesser, the lesser version for the same kick the same buzz the same high oh, right <laughs> i get you i get you portable <laughs> yeah i think switch is my second favorite console actually if it weren't for sony and their wonderful games i think because switch 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 be, i unlike some people i don't see it as a kid's kid's um system i think if you want it to be a kid system there's plenty of kid games for you right but i don't play I, to me the games i play they require skill challenge they're not easy. I don't see how kids can finish these games. Yeah, okay. Okay. Because they are hard. It's hard, hard, some of them. Yeah, they are. Like, Nintendo, I mean, Nintendo is just, it's Nintendo. So, that's just Nintendo in the day. I'm getting to it. Uh, yeah, I got it in the chat here. Is the Switch the game uh, Soldier Boy copied? No, it's not. <laughs> nah. No. Not even, not even, not even remotely close to yeah. anything. Which is, is completely different. <laughs> so your boy yeah, now, yeah. Uh, now, catching up to Xbox, that that the, is how fast they did. It. You know, yeah. it's kind of like well, what it what it tell what it should tell everybody is that both Sony and Nintendo are worldwide brands. Right. And, uh, Microsoft is a local brand. I've always said it's like going to be to a city and they've got that local pub with the local beer. Everybody's got one. Microsoft is the local pub with the local beer. And you go in there, you drink the local beer. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> the the uh, other companies are the international beers. You know, you get the international part uh, of that menu, and it's kind of like, oh, you know, it's just, they're, you know, they're just synonymous with gaming, you know, and sound, and especially with Nintendo. And Nintendo was the first major company to uh, come out, you know, for home, you know, at home use in the 80s. 
Yeah. I mean, guys were yeah. half these people were running down the sides of their mama's legs when this thing. <laughs> You know, it's that. So it's just, uh, I had a Nintendo system. My brother had a Nintendo, so we all had one. And we all started with Nintendo. I I think, I think, like, the very first game that I played on the Nintendo, it wasn't even Super Mario, it wasn't even Metroid. It was actually, I think it was, what, 1942, which was the uh, the World War. Capcom. Yeah, we played Capcom. Me and my family would play Duck Hunt. We would go up. Uh, yeah. That was, my first, that was <laughs> my first game. Duck Hunt yeah. and Mike Tyson's uh, Punch Up. Yeah, and so for, for, the, for the, you know, when I saw that, you know, the people were crying about it, that Nintendo was going to catch them, it was like, well, yeah, people did predict that, but it just, they didn't say it was going to happen this fast. That's what's, uh, that's what's so shocking is that it's gonna, it may happen in the next 100 days. Mm-hmm. They, and over, overtake them, and, and um, it's gonna be kind of like, Are you sure you're gonna? And you're talking about you want them to announce new hardware? Why? Nobody's buying it, you know. I just it just fails to amaze me that you, know, you got people going full retard, you know. Nobody's buying the shit they got out now. Why do you want them to announce new hardware now? Who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? <laughs> Who are you talking about? Who are we talking about? Oh, well, I mean, if you have Nintendo that, that is projected by some to overtake Microsoft in in 100 days, maybe less than that, it, why would you want Microsoft to put out more hardware when the people that are available aren't buying the hardware they got now? Yeah, but Microsoft still make, but Xbox is still making the money, though. So oh, yeah, even I, though they're being out yeah, yeah. the, the service, even though Switch is doing better, they're still making money off of the service. Yeah, yeah, they're making ten what ten billion, I think, was their report. So yeah, uh, yeah. You know, so, yeah so that's, that's enough game money game to make. Game it. Game. Listen, if you were making ten billion, yeah, from services, you would make a new console as well, bro. Well, yeah, but why rush? I mean, I just, I mean, they just gave you hardware out a year ago and buy. So right. what, I don't know why they're pushing. Why they're so pushy for them to do something else so soon? Maybe. I, Sorry, Craig. I mean, maybe it's the desperation for them to say that they're, you know, that they're going to sell better than the Switch. I mean, that's the only I, thing that maybe, we can. I mean, they're trying to say relevant. I understand that. It's it's um, it's really sad. I mean, it's almost like they're they just had hardware release. It's almost like they're they want them to be NVIDIA or AMD and just constantly release stuff. Yeah, I mean, Bro, they, they want this generation over with. That's going that's around. A, that's over a great, point, man. great point. That's a great point. That was a yeah. straight shot. They just want it over with. Yeah, they you're got, right. I can't. I can't. You're right. I can't fucks with that. One. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they want to hit the reset <laughs> button. About it. No, you right. think about it. At my, um E3. Supposedly at E3. Remember again, everybody knows like all eyes are pretty much on Microsoft for E3 this year because Sony's mm-hmm. not. Be there. Sony's not By buying default. The space. Is, isn't that AI every year? No, no, story. no. This is really, if you really think about no, but it, don't we, really don't we hear this every year though for the last six years? Oh, what wait, E3, E3, on Microsoft? E3. Oh, E3, even when Sony doesn't turn up to Gamescom, oh, Microsoft's gonna kill it. Oh, yeah. when Sony doesn't go, yeah, Microsoft's the reason why I'm bringing it up now, and I'm and I'm actually going to at least give them the benefit of the doubt. Well, there is rumors going around again, rumors and speculation, as always. You know, we, we don't have confirmed specs at all, at, at least yet, right? We don't have nothing confirmed. But going into E3, supposedly Microsoft is going to show off the specifications for the new Xbox at E3. Oh, what does that's that look like? Well, they they gonna gonna that is so dumb. What does that look like, though? Some graphs. How can they show us the spec? What it was a bit some numbers on the screen. I mean, I, I don't get it. I just don't get it. I'm reading show the stuff. Games. Just show me demos. I want, I want to see demos of games like they already got caught out yeah. with yeah, um, did. Anthem Digital they Foundry did. exposed Microsoft today because I watched that Anthem analysis video, right? I, and they said, I, think I heard it was bad. I didn't watch it. Oh, oh, dude, let me say, let me just say, let me just say, was a lot let, me, let me just say, Digital Foundry exposed. Uh, Microsoft, because Microsoft said the Anthem was running on the Xbox One X back at E3. Right. And they said that could not have been the Xbox. It would have been the PC. Because what you're seeing on the Xbox now 
falls way short of that demo. It don't even look. It's missing nowhere near. Nowhere near. It's, it's not as smooth, good. right? No, it's not even. It's not. No, the graphics have changed. It's just. It's just not. It wasn't. They don't believe that what was running on the Xbox One X at the time allegedly was actually running on the Xbox One X. They say it was more likely to have been running on a PC because or or, 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 or the dev kit or the dev my community is that it's not optimized for the Xbox yet. I've been told. Now, for some That's reason, really, for really some reason EA, EA, <laughs> EA optimized this game for both Sony platforms, and they have not optimized it for the X no, yet. They did it for the X, true. but not the X. That's not true. That's well, not true because I, well, they have, I agree with you. Because that's, Xbox but, is the lead. Xbox is the lead platform. For you're, you're correct, but they, according to the community, they are saying that the game isn't. It was a demo. It was not finished. And this is Craig, 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 Craig. What do the community know? What do they know? Well, I'm just telling you. Why even bring them up? What do they know? What information do they have? They don't know anything. They read Reddit. I said, I've never understood. I I never, I would never say, oh, I'm saying this because the community said it. Because the community just aren't credible. Well, I don't disagree. I understand they like the biscuits buttery. I get that. <laughs> according to this person, they said that Xbox is the lead platform, like you just said. And, uh, it's just the, the funniest thing I've seen about it is the side by side, the E3 footage, like you saw. Bob. And somebody said, What oh, happened yeah, we- to the storm? Somebody said, Did a storm come through and blow everything away? <laughs> you could tell, you could tell pretty much, like, even graphical details within that E3 um, live demo run. Yeah. For the actual demo being run on even on the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X, there has been a lot of downgrades in terms of visual aspect. The design is still there, there's like little intricate designs that are still there from the demo, but. How you see the implementations of all the characters and all the details, even 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 the uh, the ranger suit that was in the demo is not even shown in this demo as well. So there's a lot of things that are being done that have been changed. Yes, I understand, Carlos. I'm the interruption there. I understand, and I'm with everybody here on this panel. I'm still informing, oh, 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 but noise, the community, man. the community, noise, high, saying, some of the Xbox feels high. That's a lot of noise, man. It's nice, yeah, yeah, right. Right. When you're wearing when you're wearing headphones, it's like someone's punching you in your ears. In your ears, it's yeah, really painful. I don't know who that is sounds like an ass whooping. Someone's getting it's like I'm getting smacked <laughs> in the ears. Like it's horrible. Maybe maybe Carlos's uh, mic is stopped. He when he's uh, okay. look, no, bro. Uh, Really quick, now, just hold your hold your wire. Like, don't let your wire. It's like, it's like two mics hooked up. No, no, I don't even have my. I don't even have the wired um headphones. It's, these yeah. are actually. Oh, oh probably was Carlos, Carlos, you know what that sound like, Carlos? You know what that sound like? It sound like two microphones hooked up and had sex, just rubbing. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, I got I got a new pair of headphones. We ain't having no type of problems no more. <laughs> I hear echo, echo and rubbing, echo and rubbing all night long. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> well, yeah, Craig, Craig isn't giving validity to these guys. He's just kind of trying to roast well, these no, more no, I'm simps. Not no, I'm not I saying that you. Know what? You, know what? you can't listen to the community because guess who the community is listening to? Digital <laughs> Foundry. Well, they're no, listening to the RGT podcast, baby. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that too. Listening to whoever in it. So, so the community 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 and it runs better on the PlayStation. That actually did surprise me. It didn't I shock like the me, on. but they said it runs overwhelmingly better. <laughs> on what? On the PlayStation nah. 4 Pro? On, on the Pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. yeah. has a 60 it's frames per second option, which is shocking. Sorry. I thought it'd be yeah. at, at 1080p. At 1080p. Alexa, but, shut up. But you know what's the funny part to me? Like it, it, it really shows exactly where the capabilities of both machines are at. They're literally par on par when it comes to certain games. It's not you're not gonna see that much of a difference between both the Xbox Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro. On certain games, yes, you're gonna see that the, the, the Xbox One X might hit a 60 frame per sec uh, 60 frame per second cap, but it's not gonna be withheld all the time. It's and advantage, that's what, isn't it? 
extra four gigs of RAM and the yeah. mildly more powerful GPU. But in terms of the CPU, there's there's not much in it. Not much. And this is this is what where, where I where I want to try to go at with the whole anthem situation. Notice that, right? All of these downgrades and everything is um being shown, it just shows you exactly where the limitations are at with the consoles right now. Absolutely. Especially when you have rendering techniques that really don't show justification to why the games are running the way they're running. But it is just it's just how we've always been saying it. Uh, I don't know, you know. I think there was room. Well, if you look at the Digital Foundry video, right, you're mm -hmm. saying that they can't handle the game, but they could have locked the PS4 Pro version at 30 and, and boosted the graphics if they wanted to, but they didn't. And they allowed it to stay open and hit 60 frames per second a lot of the time. So, yeah. you know, yeah. so they, clearly weren't, they clearly weren't pushing the boat out visually if they're going to allow all that headroom for performance. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I think for me it's just it's just that that they're 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 selecting the performance mode over the you know the overall super raw graphic fidelity uh draw Isn't distance. That best, though? Isn't that better it, though? It, won't, it, won't you always pick performance over graphics? Oh I, uh, any yeah. time of the day. Anytime, anytime. Yeah. And that, I, I and I commend them, I commend them for doing that because it, it would have been a very bad thing if this game was actually having, you know, having to have any screen tearing, right? Super drastic artifacting features that were not, you know, done correctly. It would have been a nightmare. So, it, I, it for me, for me, it doesn't really matter because I would actually enjoy the game at a performance let me, mode. Let me give you an example, Carlos. Remember mm -hmm. that Geese A Lacrimosa of Dana that I was talking about, right? Yeah, on the switch. Now yeah. I didn't know this. I didn't know the switch could do this, but because I do it on the pro, like hit, I, I force it to be on 1080p so I can get the best performance. Right. This right. is what I did with the switch. I noticed that the game had a lot of frame pacing issues when I'm panning the camera, like Yeez eight. So I'm mm -hmm. thinking, let me go into the, the the screen resolution in the console system and bring it down to 720p. And behold, the game runs silky smooth. Super smooth. Yep. Silky, silky, and there's hardly any hit in the graphics. Yeah, and I think that's that's something that should be an option for all games coming that. on forth. Just to give you that, you know, you don't have to necessarily play everything at 4K in order to say, oh, I'm doing better. Even 1080p at 60 frames per second, you're going to notice how... Dude, 720p, I enjoy games at 720p, fuck it. Yep. Yeah, like it, it. It all depends. It all depends on what the developer wants to, you know, to give you. But it's better to just have those performance options within the game, so that you can actually enjoy it a little bit more better, instead of just dealing with the "ooh, I can't, I can't really play this game because look, it looks horrible. It doesn't, you know, you have input lag with the controls. I can't move my character a certain way because then this screen tearing. Oh, look, this is not artifacting the right way. The rocks are not showing up. You know, it, 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 those kind of options actually help you out to enjoy the game with a better experience. Carlos, I care so much about 4K that I have an Xbox One S instead of an Xbox One X. Oh, bro, I still own my two. I well, I still own my base PS4. I so really care about the pro. My point is that the game is not optimized on the Xbox. Yet. So let me get back to what I was saying before. <laughs> To the top. Uh, I have a question for you guys. This is courtesy of uh, Silver Burst Gamer. Yes, I didn't. I didn't miss your comment, bro. He said, uh, "I would like to know who finished the Last Guardian on the panel. Did anybody play the Last Guardian? Not me. Nah, nope. I own it. I never played it though. I never got yeah. into that. I'm glad. It out. I'm glad people were able to enjoy it when it had puzzles in it. And like I said, we we had that puzzle today on Anthem. I was like, what the hell? You know, I, was good, nah, I, I, I didn't. I didn't play the Last Guardian because it took so What's long up, to Trey? come out. I died of old age. The day before it launched, so I came back, got reincarnated, came back, ate dinner, and it still wasn't ready to come out. So, you know, the funny thing about that game is that like they were really holding on to it for so long. Like, nah, we're gonna drop it, we're gonna drop it, dude. They, nobody cared about that game when it was announced. Like, nobody cared. Like, I'm glad the they Guardian was never gonna be some blockbuster. <laughs> you know, I'm glad they dropped it though because it kind of saved their face a bit. It kind of give you know, like, yeah, no they did it out of sheer stubbornness. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we're yeah, gonna put this yeah. shit out. Pride in it, pride. Like, oh, we must have lost like thirty billion on this game. Come on, yeah, I bet they lost man money on that. Oh yeah, probably so. Yeah, 
But yeah, remember that game is not optimized according to the gentleman in the comment section of the Digital Foundry video I watched. So even though when I saw that this morning at 7.15 in the morning, I yelled trash. But as soon as it killed, I, I didn't yell trash. So you can go back and watch the video. If the copyright ain't got infringed on it or nothing. But uh, I, when that guy said it's a huge downgrade, I just said trash. I just paused the screen. Oh, I said trash. So no, a, we got what's the name coming in? Uh, I think three weeks. What's MLB the show? Uh, Back down three is coming in three weeks, right? Something like that. Oh, yeah. No, what? I, 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 I forgot when it's coming out. But yeah, but you, you know what? You wouldn't believe it though. The way they're not promoting the game. Yeah, I know they're going to have their little. For it. I know they're going to do their Xbox podcast thing. What do they call it? All access. What, uh, it? Inside Xbox. Yeah, yeah. Inside Xbox, or you might catch a glimpse of it on Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, they got Super Bowl. Yes. Yeah. Show it during. Um, the Super Bowl. Yeah, but Make come on, man. Chief. This game looking it. mighty spooky. They should have been promoting this game from time ago. I'm it's serious. Weird, leaving it to the last it's minute. It's like if, yeah. it's like getting married, yeah. Yeah. Having a big wedding and then sending the invites the night before. <laughs> exactly. It, it's weird because the game supposedly they they fixed the problems. They got the cloud to work with the multiplayer. People are supposedly liking the multiplayer. So if they're liking the multiplayer, then that means people are going to accept it, right? And that means that the problem. Yeah, but, no, is yeah, but, that, yeah, but I'm not. You know what it is? You know what it is? I'm pretty sure it's going to be a decent game to play. I hope so. That's not my concern. Actually, I don't have a concern, but my my, my gripe is this. I feel it's just going to go down as another Xbox Game Pass title. It's not mm -hmm. going to have that big band moment that, you know, its own theme tune that, you know, that whole intro, that big, big, I'm here, I have arrived, enjoy me. It's just going to be another Game Pass game. They're going to probably promote it for like a week. So you and think they'll put more effort in promoting Game Pass and like they'll show it on the yeah, cover? Yeah, I think Microsoft the less think that's what it is? now. Yeah, I, I think they're less I can see that happening right here. Yeah, you know, like Sony and Nintendo promote. Yeah, right. You know, like Sony and Nintendo have commercials for individual games. Oh, of course, yeah, they got commercials. You know, like, for games. Right, you right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Microsoft the, like um, Microsoft games. commercial is Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, they briefly promote the games individually, briefly, a very small marketing mm -hmm. budget, but then the whole big budget really goes to Game Pass. Very true. Very, very true. Because I remember when that uh, they get overlooked, you know. game get overlooked. Then in it, that means games don't get the spotlight. They yeah, deserve that, that to too. Another Netflix rental. And yeah. you know what's so funny, Foxy? That the only commercials that I've seen so far with the Xbox it has only been Fallout seventy six. Hey, what's well, up, Xbox idiot? Well, up, again, it, they, again, it's a service. People got to really get over this. It's a service, so of course, then they want it on every device. I don't know why people are are tripping. They said, you know, Craig, they had to You really, people. Craig, even you hate Microsoft or you hate Xbox. Craig is a savage. Killer Craig. Killer Craig. Well, I'm just saying, it's a service. And it's like that everybody is thinking that they're going to do what they did 15 years ago. That's not what they Nah, it's not the direction no more. It's it's yeah. more like uh, everything has it. to go uh, the they same. Will, they will. They will. But they'll, they'll be selective. They'll do it for Gears. They'll do it for Halo. And they'll do it for Forza. But everything else is just going to be dumped on Game Pass with no huge promotion. Like, they'll, they'll probably hugely promote Gears 5. And they'll probably heavily promote the next uh, Halo. Yeah. And Forza will get some budget. But everything else... If you're if you are not one of those development studios, I feel sorry for you because it's like your game is just it's not getting the love and to craft games take years of dedication and of creativity. It's not like it takes longer than making a Hollywood movie, right? They they're in development for donkeys years. People are having babies. People are like in school and now they got kids before these games come out. You know what I'm saying? Like people yeah, are married true. and these games have still not come out. So for you to <laughs> then take that game and just dump it over there in that file called Game Pass with all the other titles, some of them are middling, some of them are just terrible, and some of them are great. But to right. just lump them all in together, like it's like a bargain bucket from KFC. <laughs> oh, I don't want the thumbstick. Give me the side breast. Oh my god, Foxy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't. I gotta laugh at that one, man. That's that a was a good one. <laughs> no, 
they're gonna make little <laughs> games. Why people can't get over the fact that it is a service and like Netflix, Hulu, and the rest of Amazon, you know, video prime, they want it for all devices. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting used to. I'm getting used to this I whole. Accepted it. Like if people going to yeah. be shocked. My next video, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna break that down. I, I pretty much have accepted what they are now. I just. Yeah, I'm I'm I know I'm, it's a service. You you guys have got me wrong. Yes, it's a service, but that doesn't stop you from promoting the game. The the game yeah, individually. Yeah. Right. Of course, of course. These are your main things that are selling the product. You got to at least show the what games you're going to show off. You just want, you don't want to. Just, oh, HBO here's the service, and this is look on at the HBO. Service. Look at HBO. That's a service. Yeah. But mm -hmm. You don't just you don't just briefly hear about Game of Thrones. No, right. they properly promote it. That's, that's yeah, it's properly promoted, man. I mean, look at the meme with the guy shaking his uh his shoulders. It's one of the high, high the highest used gifs on Twitter. Come yeah. at me, bro. Like yeah, it, that is that actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, all in all, with this whole situation with Microsoft, I feel mm -hmm. that people are gonna just get used to it. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, let's get let's be real. Let's be honest with one another on the panel. Everybody in the channel, everybody that's in the chat. Let's be honest with each other. The Microsoft of yesteryear is no longer here with the same enthusiasm as it was. This is the new face of the Xbox brand. They're more catering to a multitude of billions of people. That's where the emphasis is at. That is the Phil Spencer model that he has been saying for a couple of years now. And people are still not getting the point. Yes, that they're going to give you games. The games are going to be there. But don't expect, you know, don't expect so much of it. Just play the games give your own but you know your own opinions to the xbox brand stop complaining to other people about why this why that take it directly to the xbox team tell them listen i'm not feeling right with this game it's not being produced the way that i want it and quite frankly i want you to fix these issues yeah. don't just accept mediocre games except to have Pro quality games basically yeah, yeah. Well, which I don't. Yeah, it, it's we it's, lost uh, him. <laughs> we yeah. lost. We lost Winston. Oh, like, 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 let me. Let me was him. giving us hints that we lost him. We <laughs> <laughs> want games to be developed on the level of a of a Horizon Zero Dawn and a God of War, and and, and I'm sorry, but that dog is not going to hunt. And I'm not here to say they won't have a gym every once in a while. I'm interested in what Ninja Theory. Yeah, yeah that would be funny to say I'm they won't have. Um, they won't have that is gym. why. That is just because of what Carlos said, yeah. and Craig. That is why my next gen Xbox is going to be a PC. Yeah, that's what mine is. It's, it's beautiful, man. Well, Welcome I'll, I'll to the dark side, I'll Foxy. Be, Finally, that, that yeah, bro. Because I don't, I'm, I'm not buying into Microsoft. People <laughs> say, "Oh, you need to get used to it." Microsoft are a service now. Well, I'll never get used to it. Not <laughs> while I've got a choice. <laughs> not while I have another choice. If they all become service. And I got no choice, and I'm a gamer. Then I might have to uh, assimilate. But until that date, it's like you know, you, you don't have to eat swine because pig is the only thing that roams this earth. There are other things you don't even have to eat meat these days. So sure. while there's a choice, while there's a choice, I'm 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 buying into that whole service thing. I'm sorry, I like to own my games. Yeah, next gen is just going to be like again, like we we hear this every single time we go live, right? We talk about this every time. But one thing we we always hit on the head here is that next gen is not going to be a traditional gen. It's just not. It's going to be completely different. What they're it's going. for Sony. Yeah. It will be yeah. for Sony. Yeah, it's going to be completely different because um, actually, no, no. it's going to be traditional yeah. for Sony. Yeah. So yeah. So this um, I'm this news was sent to me right here um on Twitter, and I, and I wanted to put this in, as a topic, but I forgot to put it on here. But what should I think about this? Hold on, let me bring it up here. This is from uh, Sony's CFO. Um, <clears throat> this is what he had to say: Sony's largest threats are free to play and cloud gaming. That's the CFO. That's what he said to say. Well, anything that's free is a threat. Yeah, he says free to play and of course cloud gaming. That's what he that's what he believes is their largest threat. How, how long have, how long has there been free to play gaming? Yeah, exactly. Not, I mean, not, for a really, really long time. On, yeah. on PC as well. How long has it been going on now? Over for years. For years. Right, right. And it, has, it, has it caused any problems for any manufacturer? 
You know, so you know what's interesting about that? I think he said that because a lot of free to play games are definitely blowing up. Like Fortnite blew up, Rocket League. That, that, that doesn't make sense. Those games make yeah. Sony and Microsoft and Nintendo money, though. They get a cut yeah. out of those free to play games. Fortnite is feeding all of these companies. Very true. Uh, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get that statement that he said free to play is, is one of the things that threaten them. He must be talking about cloud gaming, it must be about especially with takes off. Mobile. Sure. It must be talking about mobile. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be because if he's talking about cloud gaming, is the only thing I'll probably agree with. What he I mean, said. You know, mobile gaming has generated a top notch revenue for most of these developers, and that's I yeah, think that's, that's why that mobile gaming shit is in console gaming now. Yeah, the so, transactions are all nonsense. I, I wouldn't be surprised with how you know the statement is going to end up with, but at the same time, you got to understand, um, not everybody's going to support it at first. Not everybody's going to go head over heels for, you know, mobile gaming style transactions. I mean, if you really invest your time into into buying microtransactions and doing all these things, then you might as well just get a mobile phone and play on a mobile phone because okay, well, this is what he had to say about it. He simply cites it as a as um open platform market of free to play games as potential risk for the open market. He likely refers to the rapid increase of multi-platform free-to-play games like Fortnite and how their success continues to break down boundaries in the uh, industry. That's what he had to say about it. Yeah, that makes sense. He's not talking about uh, mobile. He's not talking about... It doesn't doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I know for a fact that Sony makes millions. Right. Sony makes millions. In fact, Fortnite is subsidizing the PlayStation 5 in some ways. Mm-hmm. Sony should come out with a banger of a free to play game that continues people, forever, continues that, you know. into PS6 and 7. Yeah, but meds, a lot of people don't know that, you know. Yeah, you see, you see games like Fortnite, the money, the kickbacks that Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo get from these free to play games are a so called threat. To they them. get 30% of everything, they, so. they yeah. are subsidizing development of consoles and new generations. So, this is why the PlayStation 5 is going to launch. Um, at a price that it actually costs more to make. Do you understand? We're going to get it mm-hmm. as the consumer at like that three nine nine, that four hundred dollar price. It's going to cost Sony more than that to dev- to make it, right? And does everybody know that Mark Cerny has confirmed uh, backwards compatibility? Well, I, no. Well, I confirmed backwards. You you confirmed too, but yeah, a long legit, time ago. Yeah, and people were saying, "How do you know? It sure? makes How sense. Can you be sure? Yeah, How can you be sure." Yeah. Way back, I said it right, and then yeah. now we've got a patent that Mark Cerny himself has got backwards compatibility in exactly the way I described it. Yeah. Where the game is going to, without a patch, yep, you will get some kind of improvement, but the real improvement will come from a patch, though, because they're yeah. lowering clock speeds to get these games. It's all about timing, right? So mm-hmm. they're, they're lowering. Right. Speeds to get these games to run properly to fool it to think it's the same CPU when it isn't, right? So, mm-hmm. obviously, there's a lot of timing issues, right? So, some games might need a patch for that reason, but you will get games that are just run just better. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you know what's so funny in regards to the sorry to cut you off in regards to the whole backwards compatibility? compatibility notice how the RSPS3 which is an emulator that's used for the yeah. PlayStation 3, they have actually figured out ways to improve upon the older games. They have literally, literally improved the frame rates. They have improved the visuals. You know, it's not as 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 cleanly, as polished as most emulators, but it is it's actually making, you know, foreground for actual people to, you know, jump into this hobby of taking these older games and just... Playing around with them and see, it's like a homebrew remaster, homebrew remaster, right? That's a good coin, coin a phrase, homebrew Mm -hmm. remasters. Yep, homebrew. Wow, I haven't heard that terminology in years. (laughs) Dude, I I, dude, I go back so far in gaming that I was that dude, right? That was a leaving primary school in you in the uk primary school is like your first school after ner- like after yeah. like kindergarten like we have a nursery system after that you go into like a junior school they call it in in the states and then you go on to college and high school and stuff you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so yeah. when i was like in the equivalent of junior school in the uk i had a bbc micro computer it was like a, a british computer but i used to program 
my own games from a kid, like basic. It was the language was called basic, and I used to make little simple games and little simple like Space Invaders myself, bro. Just typing in code. And yeah, because you're doing a, a simple process of compute with you know with numbers, and that'll translate into actual coding, and then it turns into an actual image. Yeah, you type go to, and you tell it to do this, and this equals that, and if that happens, you tell it to do that, and it's just a light routines of code. And I knew how to do that when I was a kid. It's just I kind of lost. I I gave, I became the end user. I wasn't interested in making games because it's a long, boring process. Like I'd be putting code in for like six, seven weeks, and all I'm getting is my name in colors. Yeah. <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> um, to go back to what he said about backwards compatibility, uh, we've been saying that for the longest, even on the RGT, we, we've been saying that from day one that backwards compatibility is most certainly going to be a thing because, number one, they're using the same architecture, x86. Mm -hmm. It's not Cell transfer. It's not like the jump from PS3 to PS4. It's not like them jumping from Cell architecture. Yeah, but, but there's still X86. timing issues, though, because, you know, the yeah. Pro and the PS4 vanilla, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, had, they had to work on timing issues for those two that's why it took a while for them to come out of boost mode because when ps4 pro had come out they had to lock games down like in-house like you couldn't have them boosted because they hadn't done it yet like the ice team hadn't programmed that yet the sony x dev team didn't program it yet right because they had a timing issue and those two are very very similar i mean the ps4 pro is just an overclocked cpu with a butterfly GPU. In other words, instead of one wing, it's got two wings. There's two GPUs in there, right? Mm -hmm. Pushed together to get it to 4.2 defaults, right? That still had timing issues until their engineers come out with boost mode and super sampling. But look how long it took them to do it. Like, it, yeah. Microsoft had it from day one with their console. Yeah. It took so a little while to bring that out in an update because of the timing issue. So even though you're saying x86 is the same you know, our CPU architecture, same language it's speaking, right? It's still, there's still going to be issues, bro. There's still going to be timing, big time issues. Yeah, definitely. Um, Otherwise, they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have to patent a technology, would they, in order to resolve those issues? Mark Cerny himself has submitted a, 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 a patent, right? Yeah. Um, to, to, to address those timing issues. So it can't be that simple. Like people, I think people confuse console with PC because oh, I just stick in a different PC um, CPU or GPU card, right, and right, right. you know, I'll just change the fan, I'll just change this, and oh, it'll work. Consoles are different because you know they're they're totally the close, different. The engineered yeah. totally different. Yeah. They're so tightly more engineered that it's to do one specific thing, whereas a PC is a multitasking thing. Yep. That's very, very true. All right. Um, anybody else have anything else they want to add to that? Mm. As far as anything else, any uh, any other the points you want to bring up to that? No. <laughs> oh well, no. If they're gonna have backwards compatibility, possibly. Um, I mean, they should. I mean, it's a it's a selling point now. Okay. And, uh, they have enough games on the PS4. I think people wouldn't mind if they can give it a boost and. Um, that's that's fine. I don't know if improved textures or graphics or whatever. Uh, that that's fine. It'd be nice to see the Horizon Zero Dawn maybe running like open framed or if the, you know four K native instead of checkerboarded. It's beautiful, you know, the stuff like that. So something like that. God of War the same way. So if it's going to help their first party IP, uh, right. which you know, um, then that's again. I was telling several people this. Several times, Sony is not specking that conflict to what Ubisoft and Rockstar Games wants. They're they're going to listen more to Naughty Dog and Gorilla and Sony Santa Monica than they will those guys. So, right. they, they're happy and they say we can do it with this. Then uh, that's what they're going to do. They're going to make everybody else adjust. So, uh, but yeah, it, it'd be interesting to see. I don't know how far back they'll go. No matter if, if if they can go back to the PS3, you'll have somebody bitch him on and say, "Should have went to the PS2." If it goes to the PS2, somebody's gonna bitch him on. Go to the PS1. I mean, that's just the way people. Yeah, well, there's always gonna be a bitch and Craig. And you oh, know yeah, what? People, yeah. people in the chat do not, and people listening to this video when it goes up, do not believe the nonsense of our eight T flops. Okay, it's gonna be ten T flops or more. 10. Yeah, ten or more. Right. I'm not yeah. saying the number exactly until I'm good and ready, but it's not gonna be eight T flops. I'm telling you right now.
No, well, we're not going to push. That's why I dismissed the uh, the Reddit specs. The Reddit specs didn't make no sense to me because they were talking about pricing, and I'm like, we're not right, even near like, final build. That was obvious what they were doing. That was a fanboy because they put the yeah. PS5's lower spec with the Xbox's higher spec. Higher spec, spec the, yeah. And then he got in the, the same way to show up. that it's weaker. To show that it's weaker when they yeah. don't even have that. They don't have that information. That's you all made should, up. Yeah. Can, can, can we find some thing? We got it mixed up too. They what? they put the streaming what? console as the cheaper model when it wasn't even supposed to be the streaming console. That's right. Too busy, they're too busy fanboy, isn't it? They got mixed up because they're too busy being a fanboy. Yeah. Well, so, is, shout out to Toby J the Don. What's up, bro? Toby J, what's going on, brother? It is a T flop, so they can do everything that they want. Want to? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, All we gotta know if they can do everything that they needed to do, and if it's truly using Navi. And uh, Navi is extremely efficient, like it's projected to be. They won't have to go any higher than that. Not that yeah. I'm not saying that it won't. It will be. It won't be. But if they can walk in there and say, "Guys, I, I mean, I just truly believe a Gorilla Games and Naughty Dog walks in there and says we could do our next generation of games at 8.3 T flops with this much memory. We don't need 10. We don't need 12. They're gonna. Do it. They will do that. So no, 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 because. Eight, eight T flops would have been fine when PS4 Pro launched. That would have been the 4K um, for PS4 games. But we're talking about a next generation. Eight T flops is only good to get PS4 games running at 4K. So if yeah. you're only thinking about PS4 game enhancements, what about the next gen? Of course, it can't be eight T flops. It's got to be higher. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. We'll because see. they're not thinking about the PS4. They're not thinking about the PS4 um, generation. That's. That's as good as dead now. It's on its way out. It's got one yeah. good year left. One think, good year left. I'm telling I, you now. I think that there was another misconception that people were throwing out in the uh, in the open, and that is regards to um AK resolution. Um, next year, it, it will do that. Not games. It won't do it in games. What it will do is when AK TVs come out. Mm -hmm. They'll check the board 4K to 8K. What? Why is that so inconceivable? Yeah, that that I yeah that, that that makes sense. Right. They'll they'll use the uh, the mm, the techniques to get it on the screen. Yeah, it'll be faux. It'll be faux 8K. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where and that's where my whole yeah. that's where my whole thing no, is. That's 8K. Faux 8K. That's where that's where my whole 8K. thing was at. That we, we let's have say, hey, let's make a tune. Let's. What's that group? What's that group? What's those guys? B B two K B two K B two K. The brothers from Atlanta. B two K B two K. That was the brothers from Atlanta, man. What's their name? And they're always beefing with people. And they oh, got Dragos. Yeah, let's do an amigo suit. A, -A, -A K A K. Woo woo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> but that was that was the thing with the with this whole ak situation like a lot of people are saying oh it's gonna be natively for ak no it is no, not. no no <laughs> no <laughs> nowhere near no no not even movies will be 8k native on the ps5 not nah, yet nah, of course not no. even movies even they'll be checkerboarded or upscales for 8k tvs yeah, by well, that that I yeah, that makes sense to me. They would just uh, upscale things to right. To just to continue the same uh, tricks that they know work. It makes no sense to, to abandon those to try to make something that's impossible work. It's you know, yeah, but if it is mm -hmm. AK, don't expect anything higher than thirty, boy. You're even going to get twenty eight frames per second if they're doing checkerboard eight K. Twenty eight mm -hmm. frames. Per second. Very very sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, but I, I can't wait. I mean, if they're if they're truly using Navi, and I have to wait and see. You know, because yeah. first, first Navi was not going to be there. Then it was the Sony proprietary tech, and then people reported that Xbox will have Navi. I'm like, well, then obviously, if, if that's true, it's not proprietary Sony tech. You know, mm -hmm. so they would not put it somewhere else. But uh, let's have to wait and see. I I don't know why it's such a big deal. Even if it's Vega, which is in the PlayStation Pro. That that's working fine. It just has right. to work a little bit harder, you know, yeah. than a Navi, you know, system. But we we'll have to wait and see. I don't know why people are pushing. Yo, before we move on, can I just say one little thing real quick? There's right. a little hypocrisy I'm seeing right now with uh, you know, the console folk. Uh, because every time I make a comment like, oh, I don't want to play that game on the console, I'm playing it on PC. Why? Because mm -hmm. that shit is 30 frames on console, right? 
right. I always get the, ah, you trip in 30 frames is fine. But every time we bring enough specs, one of the first things they mention is, oh, they want it. They want it to be 60 frames per second. Of course. So, so <laughs> is 60 frames per second much better than 30 or not, people? Yes. I'm going to need you to stop fraud and out there. Not you guys. I'm talking just to the general stupid public. Yeah. That's I'm gonna back my brother. I'm gonna back my brother up. I'm gonna back my brother Meds up right now, <laughs> right here. Listen here, man. This is what you gotta understand. If you're gonna play a first person shooter at 30 frames per second, you're bugging. It's not gonna look good. You're gonna feel compelled to play it at a higher frame rate. It doesn't matter how good of a shooter you are, you're gonna feel the need to play it at 60 and above. First, you know, racing games, you could do the 60, 30. I can't but, imagine playing Gran, Tur Gran Turismo or anything like that at 30. I can't. No, nah, I can't. I, I, I can't. Either, either, four, it's um, it's uh, hard enough. 30 on Xbox One X, here, 4K. Right. It's hard enough for me that I have to sit here because one of my most anticipated games that I am looking forward to for PS4, Days Gone, is going to be at 30. I can only imagine that game running at 60 with no limitations or actually at, at 120 frames. No, no, this is, there's no question, right? 30 frames per second cannot compete with 60. I don't care what genre yeah, can't. you're playing. Nah, 60, 60 is going to be better. So, you know, I, I don't even know why we're having this discussion. It's, I remember, it's, like, remember. it's like saying, it's like saying, yeah. No, it's not a discussion. That's what I'm trying, that's what I'm trying yeah. to say. Like, exactly, man. That's what I mean. It's like, it's we're up for debate, well, man. 60 is better than 30. That's it. Well, all right. I just need the people out there to stop for all the next all. Wake up, people. 30, 30, 30 is acceptable. Desirable. Yeah, it's there you a go. There you go. FPS. The stuff I played at 60 FPS, they were there were 30. That's I play gears at over 80 frames a second. It's a joke on console. Absolutely. You know, it, it is, it's no fair. It's like it's an asshole. You know, it's, it's a silly thing, but I agree with you. Me. Know, but if it's a locked 30 with no frame pacing issues, I'm happy. Yeah, that's I mean, I'm not happy. I'm gonna still play the game though. Yeah, if I can only play it at 30 frames, I'm gonna play it at 30 frames. When I say happy, I can easily forget about it. Do you know what I'm saying? Because once yeah. you get engrossed in the game, if you're still thinking about, oh, I'm not playing at 60, I'm only playing at a locked smooth 30, then you're not you why are you playing the game? You you don't really enjoy games because you're meant to get lost in the game. Mm -hmm. Like, even when do you remember when you had an old TV set back in the day, right? And you, you, your aerial didn't work well, so you probably put a coat hanger in it or something to try and get a picture on, on the TV. Back in the day, a lot of people did that, right? And it was like trying to get a nice, clear picture on your TV, but even if you couldn't get a clear picture on your TV, you still watched it, and sooner or later, you forgot that the picture was bad. Yep. Yeah. You just forgot. And you just got into whatever you're watching. And a good game is a good game. Uh, it's not like a, it's not like I'm saying a game would be bad at 30 frames per second. Like I'll play a game at 30 frames per second, but would it be better at 60? Absolutely. I mean, come well, on, one of the all. best games of all, all time, Metal Gear Solid Four, Guns of the Patriots. That was running at 30. Well, it's an RPG. Yeah. Yeah. A great game is a great game. It can run at 30. I mean, but uh, yeah, something that's moving extremely fast paced. Um, that that should be if you if you experience it at 30, then you go to 60. You're you're gonna wet your pants. The Last of Us. The Last of Us on PS4 Pro is a perfect example of why 60 is better than 30. Because mm -hmm. you can't go back. Once you've played it at lock 60, then you switch back to 30. It's like your eyes. It's like you're. It's like you It's like you're gonna be sick. Yeah, yeah. it happened to me. I don't, like, I don't like that sluggish gameplay, especially when there's the delay when you press like forward and you have to wait a second, like on your screen. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I prefer my controls to be up to date, up, up to par, and I want my game to run, you know, up to par. That's what I want. 60 frames per second is where it's at. But the funny thing is, though, if you never see 60 sec frame per second, it wouldn't matter to you. You'd be enjoying 30. It's because your eyes have seen better. Yeah. You're so That's used to your eyes. It's very true. Right, right. Yeah, you can't unsee it, man. Yeah. I played The Last of Us on the PS3, and it was dropping below 30, and it didn't bother me. It was only until I played it at 60 I realized, oh, damn. That's how the much end, better it is. You get me used to it. On PC when I was on console, right? It took me like yeah, two man. games for me to get my eyes <laughs> adjusted. Yeah, man. Now, it's, now it's all about 144, man. Yeah, I was playing, I was playing 200. See? You're playing at 60. You, know you kind of left be behind happy, a little bit. I'll, I'll be happy to stay at 60. I, I've played 60. Now, 60 is fine, like, but 144. I don't care. Ooh. Anything above that, I don't care. My, my, I, it Ooh, won't I be any it, difference. I, I can't see the difference, honestly. At 60... 
anything beyond 60 for me, I just, I don't, you know, obviously there's an improvement, but it's not so huge to me. Oh, absolutely. It's not, it's not huge. It's not going to make 60 look like shit, but you are going to want to play. Oh like yeah. So to, to answer Silver Buster's uh, say, question. Motion blur in 60 frames versus 30 frames a second game. It's I horrible. turn off motion blur in all games. So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Blur. I hate it. Never I, I like I like motion blur, man. I boot up a game, I, I turn off motion blur, I start the game. I like I like motion blur. Yeah, how, how do you how can y'all stand it? Because I remember in the last of us, I think remastered and hell, even the original one, there was motion blur and like it happened. You can clearly see it when like you do that little that cut back as Joe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, depends, it depends how it's implemented. If it's done well, yeah. like on in the Witcher 3, like it really yeah. serves it serves the game's graphics so well having the motion blur on. Okay. Facts, facts, big, big time. That game is recommended. Uh, it's like the Star Wars Battlefront Two. Everybody turned off the grain. Well, the grain gave you the actual feel of the Star oh, Wars. The movie. Yeah, the old seventies movie in it, the the old dirty film. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, the most blur to me is more like a preference. Some people like it. Some people do. For me, yeah, I've, seen like bad, I've seen bad motion blur, though. I've seen like, it's where the graphics are. It's like there's a shadow of the graphics behind you. Like it's almost yeah, like, and, ghosting, like it's ghosting or something. Horrible. And that's and that's one of the reasons why I turn off motion blur. Now, to go back to that little subject, I was playing um, Darksiders 3 on my computer. 1440p at 60 frames per second. I had motion blur turned on and it was just like ugh, disgusting. As soon as I turned off the motion blur, much clearer vivid images and I could actually lock on to my to the enemies even better cuz the do, motion do that, do that sound again. That ugh, do that again. Yeah. <laughs> are you are you are you half Jewish, bro? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but once I turned it off, it was a much better, better perform. Like I mean, visually it was better for me. I didn't get too, too out of distance with with the enemies, and I could track them better. But when the motion blur is on, it's like ah, I can't really focus on the enemies. There's too much going on with, with with you know the after shadow effect from the motion blur. That's why I always turn it off on most of my games. Bad on some games, but there's some games that need it. Trust me. You turn it yeah. off, and you're like, oh, that's horrible. The entire laser is all messed up. Games at 30 frames per second need it. <laughs> and just to clarify, yo no soy judío. Yo soy dominicano puerto oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. No soy judío. But if I hadn't seen 60, I ain't gonna lie. I can't run. If I hadn't seen 60 frames per second and I was none the wiser, I'd still be enjoying these 30 frames dipping games. I'd still be enjoying it. Yeah. I mean, some games don't matter. Like, if you play XCOM, it doesn't matter that's running at 60 frames a second. You know, or something like that, a real-time strategy. But, uh, yeah, somebody, look, I played Andromeda today. <laughs> it feel, the, it feel the weight. I played it on PC for an hour. Then I went back and played it on the Pro at 30. And it's it's like swimming in molasses <laughs> while somebody's throwing a <laughs> quick fan at you. That's what it's – that's the difference. But it was still Andromeda. It still got me. I love how everybody has a, a funny description or something. It's just hilarious to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all thought is hilarious. <laughs> Though, but just a different feel. <laughs> yeah, I just love it. I love that joint. Yeah. Um, okay, let's go into this right here. Now, you guys remember a while back we talked about um WB or was it was it was it Warner Bros? Warner Bros. I'm sorry, Warner Bros. making a Batman game. Um, yeah. we got some more clear we got some clarification on that. Apparently, this is gonna be a prequel and Ooh. it's gonna be named Batman. Oh, Arthur boring, Titans. boring, boring. <laughs> and this is rumored to be shown or for 20 20- enough of Batman. How about enough? Yeah. Tell tells Batman. Uh, Batman. Are you sure, Batman. Are you sure you Batman. have enough Batman? Batman? You sure yeah, you don't want a Batman, Batman that looks Batman. like this? Hold on, you no, don't you, sure you don't want a Batman that looks like this? Uh, I don't care what it looks like. I wanted a Justice you sure about that? You don't I want wanted a Batman, Batman, Batman game, not another Batman game. No, but it's, <laughs> yes, not, it's not um it's not Rocksteady, is it? No, nah, it's not Rocksteady. It's made, this is the one it's oh, basically made by the same oh, team with that or the Court of the Owls is lit. There you go. You don't want Batman look like that. I love Batman, yeah, but, bro. But, but, Wait, that's not Batman, bro. Many, but why, why focus <laughs> on Batman? Though? There's so many interesting DC characters. Why not make a Plastic Man game? Make him famous Ooh. again. Come on. Plastic oh yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about that Plastic Man, huh? Uh, absolutely not. I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> that's oh, a to me. Heard of Plastic Man? <laughs> wow. Plastic Man is like the Fantastic 
tall guy that stretches. Elastic man. Yeah. Mm. They call him Elastic Man over here in the states. Okay, Elastic. Okay. But there's thing. There's thing, But there's so many right DC characters that are interesting that are overlooked. Even a Wonder Woman game, man. You start off in the Amazon. Come on, like. Yeah, Batman, that makes sense. Don't get me wrong. I love Batman, but there's only like. Come on, be intre- Let's be mix it up a little. There's only so much Batman you can give me. Yeah, yeah, you feel that is a little bit oversaturated. What if it was Batman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oversaturated. I've been, playing, I've been playing Batman, yeah. Yeah. I'm so like, I've been playing Batman from PlayStation One, and two, and three, and the remasters on four, and then that. that I mean, that, technically, we've been playing it longer than that. You go back to right? the um uh, Sega Genesis. We play this is the yeah, Genesis. Yeah, yeah. Before that, and Nintendo, and yeah, Nintendo, we played it for the longest. It's, no, it's but I'm talking long. about a break. I'm talking about consistently every generation of console. Yeah. I bought all the Batman games. So does that show the creativity? You think it's like a hole in the creativity? They have to cling on to Batman. They can't go I and try to become yeah, ambitious. I have a Justice League game and still have Batman. What I don't even want to just. To be honest with you, I don't want a Justice League game because no one this particular team, especially you know Warner Bros, they'll probably do what they do with um Injustice. Just take away the whole split. They'll probably try to do something like that, just to try to tie in all the characters and have you know them serve a purpose. They'll probably do something like that. No, I'm not. Or really how, about, how about an Aquaman game? We haven't had an Aquaman. Aquaman. The movie did good. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised they did try it. The movie did great. So I mean, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. But true. I mean, but come on, I mean, how much more Batman can you play though? <laughs> a lot. What are you gonna do next? What are you gonna do next? You know what I'm saying? You can say that about a lot of games, bro. Call of Duty. Haven't we seen all of Batman's oh hell no arch enemies in all of the games by now? Like what nah, more? You gotta you gotta see the Batman who laughs, bro. That's all I gotta say. Oh, you talking about the yeah, I know I know there's a lot of Batman <laughs> lore, but I don't maybe you don't understand what I'm saying, like, but I'm just fatigued with Batman for a while, man. Yeah. I can agree. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't agree. mind him being an additional character in the game. Like, I like what Nintendo's doing with the Alliance game. Like you're gonna see lots of heroes in that game, man. Mm-hmm. I don't want to see Batman. Like I, I'm not. I don't want to sound anti-Batman because I'm a big fan of Batman. Actually, Batman is one of my favorite, you know, comic yeah, heroes. Just oversaturated. I just feel like I've had too much Batman, man. I've worn that cape too many times, man. It's sweaty. Okay. <laughs> so because uh gaming here brought this up because this was this was actually patented a long time ago, but this is back when the movie came out. Hopefully, this movie, I'm not sure how it did um in terms of winning that award, but Black Panther, yeah, I remember Black Panther. Um, they were supposed to be making a Black Panther game. Now there was no actual team behind or anything of that nature, but they were looking for a developer to make a game. Do y'all think that they should have jumped on Black Panther being Ooh. a game? Yeah. I, I mean think that's it Marvel. Been- that's um Oh yeah, it's Marvel. And they're, and it they're DC. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, I, I, honestly, I feel I feel indifferent about it. I couldn't care less whether a Black Panther game came out or not. If it did, great, because it represents uh, a black character in a positive way. But other than that, I couldn't really care less. So you don't think you would get into it as a franchise if it turned into something big for? Well, game? you know, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you, right? Uh huh. And told the black, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a comic guy, so. Don't throw stones at me for saying okay. this. Yeah, like, I know my superheroes. But I'm not. I'm not someone who was brought up on comics and read them into my adulthood. No, right? no, 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 no. I'm, not, I'm not deep into the whole universe, is what I'm saying. But what I will say is, like Black Panther's only been really a synonymous type of character for me mm-hmm. since the movie. Like I wasn't really interested in him when so he was were, in the okay, comic. You weren't interested in his lore, you didn't know much? No, I, I didn't really know much about him until they made the movie, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. I'm not I, I I, maybe yeah, I'm yeah. being too honest here, and people are going to criticize me for it, but I'm just telling no, you the truth. No, no, no. You, you're, 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 talk, man. You, you're open to your opinion. No, no, he, he's actually in a, in a majority here, because a lot of people didn't know about him. I know Craig and I knew about him, because we watched, we read the comments back then. Uh, we knew a lot about his lore, so... Yeah, most well, people that went to see that movie yeah. never heard of Black Panther well, till yeah. that movie. Yeah, true. That's yeah. very true. There was a lot of tribes, though. I don't know if uh, Craig remember the tribes. You remember the um, Snake Tribe and whatnot? That one I mentioned. Yeah. 
Uh, there's the other group. Yeah. Warship snakes. Yeah, I cannot remember. I forgot the name of the. Yeah, it was it was a different tribe, but yeah, it was it was the yeah. other tribes that were. Part I'd of rather, you know what I prefer over Black Panther game Punisher. Give me a good Punisher game. I don't really yeah. think Punisher. Nah, I think Punisher will turn into that game. Um, remember that old game that came out back on the original Xbox and PS2? It was called Yeah Death Rights. Yeah, yeah. That might end up being a Dead to Rights clone. I'm telling you, that's how a game <laughs> with Punisher. <laughs> I'm sorry. Could you imagine though driving in his muscle car yeah. across town and you take and you're shooting your shotgun out of the yep. car with holding the steering wheel with one hand, just like in the movies, the car flips onto two wheels, you're balancing it with one hand and you're aiming with your shot at you with the other. Oh come on, man. I got ideas, baby. Give me the budget. Oh, yeah. Man. Well, like I said, I mean if Warner Warner Brothers game well, Black Panther would be a good game if they went if they let him be like what he is, which is like a, a spy, you know, let him go out in the world and spy on things and then maybe have him stop in basic stuff. But uh, yeah, um, but I didn't know they were in, in tune to make a video game. They just, I know they just okayed the uh, the budget for the next Black Panther, 200 and, well, they gave him an open budget. How did they do it with the awards, do you know? I didn't even check it. I don't think it was uh, happened yet. It oh, was. It happened yet. I want to say uh, one best ensemble cast, but uh, Oscars, it ain't gonna win the Oscars. Yeah, you know? uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I'd shock if it beat those movies. That uh, it's up that would be amazing, and crazy if it did too. That'd be a big win for Marvel in terms of storytelling and everything. Yeah, I do think it could win costume design, although the uh, the one I picked was the um, uh, Roma, I think, for costume, but uh. When I was doing my Oscar thing, but uh, she is, which call it is up for costume design. So, and there's the other one about the the queen or the something that's up mm -hmm. to anything that's a piece, time piece, something like that usually wins. Yeah, I mean, if they ever do make a Punisher game, I just hope it'll be better than the first movie. And <laughs> the first movie was just uh, well, um, Punisher video <laughs> game. I remember one on the 360. It was straight garbage. Yeah, yeah how, do think, how, do you, how do you go about making a Punisher game? You see, how do you do it? No, it's it's easy. It's easy. You don't make it open world like Grand Theft Auto. You make it more. You make it more sandbox, right? You uh -huh. make it more set pieces for those big because it's a Hollywood type big set piece. So would you game, say right? like a Max Payne? Give it a yeah. Give it a dark story like Max Payne. Like okay. have him on painkillers as well. Even rip rip the story off even right. But just have him as the Punisher with his long right. leather coat. I want to see those physics on that leather coat, right? And it's raining. You could have elements of Watchdog at night with the rain and the wind. They, 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 re they revisit that though for next year. Remember how we got the first demo for Watchdog with the weather or the cold? You can like, even have the mafia after him. Right? <laughs> yeah, you can I, even I, have mixed. They didn't even have mafia. <laughs> But here's the thing. Do you guys ever think that they'll... Because I don't think The Incredible Hulk has been given really a fair fair chance on video games, man. There hasn't been really a good Hulk game. Do you think yeah. there ever will be? No. Universal's not going to let that I happen. think there was one that was kind of solid, uh, like on PS2, I think. Yeah. Um, he said the first Punisher movie was better than the second one. Well, it was. Well, I mean, you think about right. it, it was more... The, like, even the director said it, like, he was all over the place in terms of, like... Because, remember, he, he wanted to go with the theme of punishment. Remember, yeah. that was the Punisher thing. That's why he created that whole love scandal thing that was part of this of uh, his plan to get revenge, and then he took pictures of the dude who was gay. Yes. Yeah. And I was like, I didn't, I didn't like that at all. I was like... <laughs> I didn't, I didn't like that. I'm like, you're bribing dudes. I'm like, dude, this guy killed your entire bloodline. Well, mm -hmm. the, 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 war zone, the, the Punisher talking about, the Warzone Punisher was more like the Thomas book, the comic book, and that Thomas Jan, when he was straight, dutified, petrified, garbage for that. I didn't I like I like, I like the, the conversation. I like I like that. Uh, Y'all like going, going back, so let's go back to the original, the one with Dolph Lundgren. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about a horrible movie? That no, was. I, I, you know what I like? You know what I like best. You know the you know the Thomas Jane <laughs> one. You know my favorite scene. The guy that the guy that my favorite scene is is that that kind of cowboy all in black that's. Carries oh, the, you talking about the dude that like walked into the diner? He was like, "You like that song, kid?" It's like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah." He, he's, 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 you, know who, you know, you know, who's modeling himself on. So, you know who that guy models himself on? That that famous country and western singer that yeah, always Johnny dressed Cash. in black, Johnny Cash. Cash yeah. Oh, oh yeah. wow, yeah, because yeah, that was his name. Wasn't his name Johnny Heck or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He modeled himself on Johnny Cash Johnny like Heck. a bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> 
That was very true. See, that, that's crazy. What's up, Jamia Dixon? Yeah, that was very, very true. Um, let's see. Do I have any? Let's go to the rest of these topics here. Oh, I forgot to go over this. Uh, Bioware teasing something special for Anthem's demo. Uh, Sunday's finale. What do y'all think they're going to do for Anthem on Sunday for the finale? Uh, make it not like Destiny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> Anthem, Anthem is another here today, gone tomorrow game. Can't don't people see it? It's another Destiny two, man. There you okay. go. Yeah, Fox is in the corner. No, I see. I see you. People, 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 gonna gonna be hyped. people, uh, people are going to be hyped until the next game comes out, which won't be too long. Don't worry. Yeah. I yeah. saw Tony Polanco post that. Shout out to Tony Polanco. He also posted that. He said he played it. He said he thinks it's Destiny. Everybody's calling it Destiny. It's crazy. Everybody's calling it Destiny. Dude, it's, it's lame, dude. It's lame. I'm sorry. Look, I'm not disrespecting I the people. I think it's I'm, good. I'm but, not you know. disrespecting the people that made the game or the people that are enjoying the game. But for yeah. me, it's lame. Lame. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's not bad. It's just was it worth uh, the, the way they built it up and things like that. I, that's oh, the, the, hype, the hype behind it. Yeah, but yeah. The, the demo and it, it could be something totally different. If they put romances in it, uh, I know a lot of the Mass Effect people, that's what they want. They because again, that grease monkey, you know the one I'm talking about, Ryan. When you yeah, you know, we you know, know. her head and, and rim, reaming that from behind, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> So you know, I would say the one thing that's weak about Anthem is the choices of dialogue. I think that's yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. not in the dialogue system at all, and I don't like that. It's pretty basic. You know, right? you, know you guys know me anyway. Look, you know that I don't like those always online games anyway. I don't care about them. Okay. Fallout yeah. seventy six. What's that? I just don't give a damn about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 The game's not even complete still, and I don't think it ever will be complete. That's the sad part. So. I don't care about these these shelf life games. I want games I can put in the drive and play five years from now if I want to. Yeah, you weren't um you weren't here when we talked about Resident Evil. Um, but um, I'm about to bring this topic up right here. This other one. Uh, did you play Resident Evil Two remake? Foxy? I bought. I've got the game and it is still sealed because I have a new policy as a New Year's resolution. I will not start a game until I finish the one I'm already playing. Okay. Sadly, 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 Resident Evil 2, it landed while I was already in the middle of uh, Yves 8. So I'm going to finish Yves 8, and then I'm going to open Resident Evil 2 Remake. Okay. I can respect that for sure. Uh, let's see. It hit 3 million units sold in its first week, as of right now. Well done, Capcom. So Capcom's uh, definitely hit a stride with Resident Evil 2 Remake. Um, I'm telling you right now, Fox, you're going to love it. It definitely brings back the old school feels. So when you eventually play it, uh, you're going to played it. I played it. I played it. I played the demo, the 30 minute demo. Oh, I knew okay. that. I yeah, knew that. I knew from part, part of it that you didn't amazing. get to that's going to add a whole new level of just uh, creepiness to the game. It's these loud footsteps. And uh, Carlos knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, of course. I know. know what I'm talking about. These the heavy footsteps. So. Well, I completed I like the that. original on the PlayStation 1. It was mm -hmm. two discs. Two discs. I yeah. remember it well. I completed that like eight times. I'm not lying. I was obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> Leon and Claire. I was obsessed. It was the most amazing game I've ever seen. I thought, and when I saw Resident Evil, the first one on the PlayStation One, way back in 1997, when I first saw that, I was so blown away. Like, I didn't even want to turn my. It was like the similar situation that we have with Xbox now, I suppose, like for multi console owners. As soon as I saw Resident Evil on PlayStation One, mm -hmm. Sega Saturn didn't get turned on anymore. In fact, it probably got sold shortly after that. Wow. No, wow, I just thought I just thought this is a different level. I've never seen anything like this in my life. You know well, what I'm saying? Where's Ada? And, and like I said before, they lying and keep saying something called Mr. X is in this game. That's an effing lie. Mr. X is the black dude. Molder tried to contact on the X Files. I did a video on it this morning. You can see who the real Mr. X is. Everybody's <laughs> talking about this Mr. X, this Mr. X, that. that oh, you mean the tyrant? Oh, yeah, that's just some dude with a hat walking around. That's who all that is. Some brother I with tell a hat. What, I tell you what. Go stream it after this podcast and say that to his face. Let's see how that works. <laughs> where, where can I watch this video, Craig? <laughs> huh? Where can I watch this video, Craig? What video? You said you made a video on it. Yeah, go to it. Well, matter of fact, let oh, me see God. right now. Ryan can share my screen. 
Yeah, yeah, that's you know who the real Mr. X is. I mean, I can say, man. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so, so King, what, about Kingdom, what about Kingdom Hearts 3? I mean, the game's been I heard like, five, six years in the making. Like, five. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Who bought it? Who bought it? <laughs> oh, no, man. I haven't got it yet. Forget, no. about, forget about Kingdom Hearts 3, bro. I yeah. won't be buying that. It's not my... I, I, <laughs> I, look, look, Mario is one thing, but I'm not going to run around as Disney characters. I'm sorry. <laughs> bro, that shit could go in the bushes. <laughs> oh, I, I'm not going to run around hanging out with Disney characters. I don't care if the game's storyline is amazing. I've never been into Kingdom Hearts games, ever, ever, ever. You will not find one trophy for it. I've never played it. Don't care. Just don't care. I know people love it, but I just goofy. Come on, man. Winnie the Pooh, get the hell out of here, man. I'm too. You know what? Mario is borderline for me as it is. I can't yeah. do. Can't I do just, Disney. I, again, I never, I never got into uh, Kingdom Hearts. But again, you know, if you like that game, you like it. it just, it's never been a game that struck me as something to play. I don't know. Can you share that screen? I put that in the. Uh... The chat there. If you want to see the real Mr. X, not this bullshit. <laughs> oh, man. It's, oh, the, same reason why I won't buy, it's the same reason why I won't pick up like Kirby All Stars. Uh, it's, uh, it's just too, too, um, too fluffy for me. It's too fluffy for me. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, let's see uh, what people have to say about this. Do you guys agree or do you object to this? Hold on. Let me just bring it back. I object. Up. To this uh, Mr. X picture, yeah, pull that up there. This is the real Mr. X. That's the real Mr. X going to uh, Fox. I mean, uh, I'd say Carl uh, Craig here. <laughs> yeah, that's him. That's <laughs> that's the real Mr. Oh, X. Man. What's it say right there? Unnamed, unknown, <laughs> Mr. X. For all you people, right? I say you millennials. <laughs> I would punch your mamas. I would punch her in the mouth. You all do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Seriously, I would just see like, is this your son? Oh, he's a cool dude. Whack. Teach him the history, you know. So this, you know, that's Mr. X. So please stop t calling this dude walking around Mr. X. That ain't him. Mr. X. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, I got a question for the panel members. Any of you gonna play the Hong Kong Massacre? Uh -uh, yeah. that Never heard of that. Yeah, I think I'm it just came out on consoles. Yeah, oh, it just came up. I never heard might, of that. Might yeah, check it out. out. So you guys are on a different level of uh, certain games here. I never even heard of that. Mm, you bet. You got E three. Yeah, I gotta say. Okay. No, I love, PlayStation. Yeah, I love my PlayStation. Yeah, I love my PlayStation. It's my main console. But no, I mean not love it, but you know what I mean. I love. I love to play the games on it. But you know, I can only do one console at a time. Like I wish I had a few clones, but I yeah. don't. So I'm stuck on Nintendo right now. Until I finish Nintendo, I, I, I guess my next stop is PlayStation for Resident Evil. But um, you know, I don't want to. I don't like jumping to and fro anymore, one game to another without finishing. I don't because you know what I end up doing, and I, I don't know if this is a problem for other people. I don't know if it's unique to me. I don't know. But here's the thing: when I used to play lots of different games. Mm. I used to forget what I was doing in the last game or the game before that, and I have to start it all over yeah, again. Yeah, you had to, the the again. I have to yeah. make sense of the story, and I find I'm wasting my time. Like, so I yeah. thought I'm not doing this no more, man, because I'm not either. I'm not going to finish the game, or I'm not going to get the story properly, right? So I said, from now on, 2019, I'm going to start and finish a game, one game at a time. I don't care if it takes me three months. I don't give a damn. Resident Evil <laughs> 2 remake is gonna be pre-owned on sale before I get to it. If it, if that if that's what it takes, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But I am not opening it and playing it until I have finished the game. I can respect that for sure. Um, let's see here. We got one panel question left, and we have two other topics, and that's gonna be the show. Ladies and gentlemen, hit that like button for those of you that are still here. If you guys are enjoying the show. Appreciate everybody that's here. Let's start <clears throat> with this one right here. Um, Sony's R&D working on a handheld. Now, obviously, I'm going to tie the, one of the questions into this, too. Um, so, obviously, they're working on a new handheld. Um, it's going to be supposedly powerful. We do not know what the full purpose of this is going to be. We don't know if it's going to be a direct successor to the, um, to the Vita or it's going to be something that's going to go in conjunction with the PS5, you know, like something that can... That you can use with it, you know, like cross play and whatnot. We don't, we're not really sure. 
but this is what they're working on. And uh, my question for the panel, obviously, to go with this is, uh, do you guys think we're ready for another handheld from them? So um, I'll start with Foxy, since you obviously were talking about this first before anybody. Um, look, I, I, I think we need to draw a distinction here between research and development mm -hmm. and product to market. Mm -hmm. Not everything that's in R&D ends up on a shelf at retail. So yep. I don't want people to get carried away with the video I did. I was clear to put in the title and made sure I mentioned that it's in research and development. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean it could ever come out or it means it could come out, but it might only be tested out in Japan Very true. because that's where Sony's problems mm -hmm. are in Japan. So that's where the speculation part came in for me in that video is where right. I said that there's no other way for Sony to co get competitive in its home territory, Absolutely. you know, where Sony's from, its own home territory, Japan, against Nintendo and the fledging um, mobile market, yeah. right? There is no way they can compete with a home console when Nintendo hasn't been out two years and you're yes. already, you're both almost neck and neck. You're both 7 million. Mm -hmm. There's only like 400,000 units between Switch and mm -hmm. PS4's entire life cycle in Japan. Like, yep. So if this is how it is now, how is it going to be for PS5? So I think that Sony are try like they're thinking, how can we like get competitive in Japan? And the only way they can do that is with a uh, portable unit. Now, right. whether that is a portable <laughs> unit that is a cut down PS4 uh -huh. and is a companion device to the PS5, meaning you can stream to it, Absolutely. but you can't play the PS5 games natively, obviously, right? So maybe it's going to be something like that, or maybe it's just going to sit in their research and development for years, and they wait and see how PS5 does, and they don't do anything until after PS5. <laughs> Who yep. knows? Yeah, very true. I, I looked at it too. I was I was looking at that. I looked into you know I did a little research on it, and I was I saw your video. I was like, hmm, if they are going to release their own handheld, what exactly are they going to have on it? You know, because you can't really put all no, the no, no, that you no, have no, now. You Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Mm -hmm. I saw a lot of comments on that video and on Twitter right. about, oh, I'm not going to support Sony. I don't trust them because they don't support their handhelds. But Sony won't be supporting this. If this was to come to market, they wouldn't mm -hmm. have to make games because you'd be able to stream PS5 on it with lag-free technology that they've got, you know, very low latency technology. And you can, you'd be able to play PS4 games natively. Okay, mm -hmm. not obviously not disc, it will be digital, right? right and, yeah, streamed, yeah. And then you can save it onto an SD card or whatever, or into its internal memory, which is allegedly 128 gigabytes, mm -hmm. right? But here's the thing it doesn't need to release games because it will have all those PS4 games. You can still play PS5 games on there, probably play PlayStation Vita games. Why are you worrying about them making exclusive games for a platform that is a companion device to the next generation? Why? Mm. Okay. You, you, there's no problem if, you know, they don't need to support it. They don't need to. It's just going to be a device that is like a streaming, like Microsoft's making that Maverick box, right? Right, right, of course. That's a streaming box, isn't it? They're yeah, making a, like a Roku box, box, disk drive, aren't they? They're making yeah. an Xbox without a disk drive so you can either download or just stream only, mm -hmm. right? So when the next gen comes out, you think Microsoft's going to need to support that when it can just stream the next gen games? Mm, okay. So Sony's going to treat the, any potential handheld that leaves the research and development laboratory. Right. That is how they'll go about it. Because why bother for something that's not even going to be necessary in the future? Like, the future is streaming, right? Everyone believes that. So why are you going to make proprietary cartridge games for this thing? Yeah. There's so many games you can play on it already. Absolutely. I can definitely see that for sure. Uh, anybody else want to add anything to that? I'm ready as fuck for a Sony handheld, man. <laughs> the Vita, the Vita has features on it, dude, that the Switch still doesn't have somehow. And like chat and stuff. Yeah, trophies. Yeah, true. Like, true. The Vita was great. Sony just messed it up with the memory cards, man. Memory cards. Yeah, really I feel like a crazy. I feel like stuff. they can really. I think they can do it right, you know what I mean? But whether yeah. or not they're going to do it, I don't know, whatever. But if they do, honestly, I'm in because I know they're going to give me what I want, good online, um, you know, 
party chat, you know, things that I would expect in 2018. In fact, I expected much before that, that the Vita had in 2011. PSP? So, yeah, I'm ready for that. I hope so. I don't know. Did you have the PSP back then, Mitch? I had. Did Dude, you play, that, that's how I learned about, game? like, homebrew and emulation and all that stuff. Yeah. Do you, um, I don't know if you played this. Do you remember Ape Escape Academy? Oh, I remember that. No, okay. those games are for, for, for pedos, bro. No, I'm saying. I'm, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Ape Escape. They, they, that was to say. They stole the patent for Ape Escape. I'm surprised they didn't um look into. Didn't, Ape that, didn't, that, didn't that come out on the PS on the PS3 though, or PS4? Hasn't that come out in some form? Ape Escape Academy? No, no Ape Escape Academy was strictly for. No, PSP. Not, not, not Academy, but an Ape Escape game. Oh yeah, Ape Escape Academy. Yeah, I haven't made a newest Ape Escape game in a long time. That's on one PS3 did. though, right? The last one was on PS3 though, right? I'm I sure. No, nah, I remember one coming out on PS3. I'm sure of it. Really? I, I could have sworn the last one that was Ape Escape 3 was on PS2. The one that came out on PS2 was the PS1 classic. <laughs> yeah, it must be the classic. Imagine. Oh, classic. It probably is it. Not for okay. nothing. I'm probably thinking about the classic. Or Monkey Ball. I loved Super Monkey Ball. Why don't they bring that back? I don't know. They they have the IP. So I'm saying they're sitting on the IP. Just like Capcom. They're sitting on the Dino Crisis IP. Well, do something with it. Like Bring it back. Oh, yeah. but they are. But they are. Who said they're not doing anything with it? <laughs> we'll see. Mm. We'll see. Listen, bro. I put out a video about five, six months ago saying that on it. Actually, three and a half years ago, I mentioned Onimosha was coming out and Resident Evil. In fact, Resident Evil Two Remake was one of my my very first videos that yeah. I ever made on my channel. That probably got a hundred views, right? One like, and I mentioned this like four years ago. And now it's only just come out. And I also mentioned about five, six months ago that Capcom are looking to reestablish their older IP. Mm -hmm. So you, they're going to they're gonna resurrect um, Dino Crisis. They're, you're going to get a Resident Evil uh, 3 remake. <laughs> you are getting one of those. You're okay. going to get, um, I guarantee you're going to get that. And you're also going to get, I'm, I said on Emusha in that as well, and that came out. So, so uh, you know. He's officially the Wishmaster. He, he, he can see it all. Dragon Store, I'll tell you another one that's coming back. He was Dark right. Dark Stalkers is coming back. I put I tweeted Dark this. Stalkers? I tweeted this a lot 18, 18 months ago, a year ago. Mm -hmm. And Capcom are gonna bring back Dark Stalkers. And Dark I'm Stalkers. still I'm still yeah. telling you they're gonna bring back Dark Stalkers. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what that was. Dark Stalkers. I don't oh, you that. don't you haven't it's played a, Dark Stalkers. It's a, fighter, it's a fighter, man. How could you not know about Dark I Stalkers? Know, yeah. girl, uh, Felicia's oh, from, I don't I think, remember right? Dark nah, 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 nah. You got you got uh let me see. There was a mummy. There's a vampire. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah, yeah. Morgana. There's a Taki Hut. Yes. Um, Felicia. Yeah, Morgana, Felicia. And I just bring uh -huh. Terra Dome. <laughs> oh, God. Matter of fact, that game was on PSP. I had that on PSP. It's famous. I That's played that on the original PS1, bro. Dark, Dark Talkers. Talkers. Yeah, I played that on the original PS1. That those games was lit back in the days, even in the arcade. Like it a was a bunch of dead like fighting game franchises. Remember Virtual Virtual Fighter, man? Yo, Virtual yeah. Fighter was the game, bro. I don't know why they slept on that game. Is yeah, it was I don't know why Sega. I, don't know PS3. Why Sega I had the PS3 version. Of it. I think it was five Virtual Fighter Five. I don't know why Sega doesn't like. I thought they were a software hey, company. Big software, yeah. software, big software. Then isn't it? You're a software company now. Make software, damn it. You, you keep forgetting nin, nin, Nintendo owned that ass, so you know they can't really. They gotta Who? do what Nintendo says. Who yeah. Sega? Mm hmm. Nintendo don't own Sega. You sure? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they don't own Sega. They don't own Sega. Nintendo nah, owns Sega. They would have Persona Five on their shit. <laughs> they just partners, bro. They just they just. just they just they just partner on a couple of games. They ain't no they, they, Nintendo do not own Sega. Okay, okay, okay. I was wrong. No way. I was wrong. I was wrong. The last partnership I heard about Sega being in, in, in like a real merger with was Sammy. It was Sega Sammy, but definitely not Nintendo. Okay. Um, anybody else got anything else they want to add to that to the whole um topic or we we'll move on? Yeah, let's just uh go on to the next part. All right, uh, let's see here. Moving on, one second. Okay, so Sony is telling their first party developers to focus on making PlayStation 5 games, that is their main focus right now. 
Old news, old news. Yeah. I know it's old Absolutely. news. Obviously, it's coming out because you know people don't want to listen to people who clearly call this out, and they want to say you're liars until we get you know an article say it. But there you go. There, there's that one. Um, can I can I take a partake on this by replying to it? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, let's put it this way: next gen is going to be the main focus for them to actually bring out newer games that compel. To the to a broader audience, we already know this. There's nothing that Sony is not gonna back on, back off on, for next gen. They're gonna deliver to you with first party rated games, with great visual details, great stories, and the same recipe as always. First party exclusives matter, not the other way around. When you know you're doing games as a services, no, they're gonna focus mainly on just making good games. First party title games for the fans. There you go. Simple. Um, okay. Where was the last one here? Oh, this is the last one. I'm sorry. Uh Quanta Dreams is officially going multiplat. I forgot to bring that one up. Dude, why are you rushing through? You you literally one person has spoken yeah. on it. You're already on the next topic. I'm sorry. I didn't know if you might I asked everybody they they might want to ask them. Yeah, but, but as soon as Car we were just being polite, allowing Carlos to finish his sentence, and then you <laughs> said, "Let's go to the next topic." <laughs> My bad. Go ahead. Oh, Y'all want to add on AD to it? Go ahead. <laughs> if you have anything you want to add to that, we'll doesn't anyone? Well, are you guys going to embarrass me now? No one wants to say. That. <laughs> I'm like, I could have sworn nobody said that this far backed up. What are they going to do? I mean, that's almost like somebody said they built the railroad track. Now they're going to build a train. If, if, you know, <laughs> you know, that's like saying, that's like saying, you know, you can make, you can, you, you can make fucking milk from a cow. Of course you're going to get. <laughs> of course, you, of course you're going to get new, new focus on, on. But here's the thing: the time is <laughs> awful, though. Like a lot of these mainstream sites are just talking about it now. Like, come on, there's some of us are talking about this like a year, year and a half ago, man. Yeah, we've been yeah. talking about it for a while. This is like the whole year. Which so, you know, down. Um, successful games, they they moved yeah. on. I mean, it's not like Sony; they didn't come around and say, "Hey, guys, we're going to be doing another console." So don't yeah. sort of get a chub for too long. We've got other stuff we're doing here. So, uh, yeah, of course they're going to concentrate on PS5. They, I, I, uh, I mean, you know, after Lost Legacy came out, Naughty Dog, I'm pretty sure, started, design, you know, working on other things. So it's just, uh, it's, it's nice, I guess, to know publicly that yeah. you're doing it, if that's what that article's about. But it's yeah. just not like water is wet. You know, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> I mean, uh, who remembers when I said that Sony put together a new studio? Either yeah. e I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quote my own words. I said it's a new studio, even with new talent from different companies and yeah. within their own internal studios, moved into and formed a new studio. Yeah. And what? Now we've got that studio that they've decided to call it San Diego, focusing on PS5 games only. Mm -hmm. yeah. look, and look, look when that came out. How long have you people really known about that? Ooh, a while back. Yeah. Oh, well, it's just they're waiting on, on a the waiting. On, you have soft confirmations and you have uh, hard confirmations. They're waiting on a hard confirmation, and that's yep. what it is. Because and to their to look, credit, that's fine because you do you have had people always come out and say there's megaton news. You say they're looking for hard information, but my rumors are always fully erect. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, not like this, man. Oh, no, I was about to say, you got to see who's telling you this. I mean, is this somebody who says megaton news, or is this somebody you fought to who, who sources <laughs> everything down to the boat? And uh, uh, so that's. That's what I mean. But to to their to some people's credit, they're like, well, I'm just going to wait on some hard information. So when an article, because we were talking a couple weeks ago about the uh, a whole Navi GPU thing, and people in the Xbox community, I got mad because they thought, oh no, we're going to be stuck with Vega, and then they're going to, and Sony's going to have Navi. Boo hoo hoo! 
And then shout out to Matt's Gaming because he's the one who broke that Avi will also be in the Xbox. So uh, so shout out to him for doing that. So now we got confirmation, which is just we got some soft rumors. So, yeah. you know, I would not go to well, the no, no. There's so well, many no, rumors. No. Yeah, everything, I've said, everything I've said, everything I've said, 99.9% of everything I've said is soon going to come to light anyway. So I, I don't care what people believe because time, time is always the master. Time reveals everything. So all, I, all I've been doing is relaying rumors and news and stuff and speculating on it um, and stuff that is concrete, right? Putting it in videos. And I've just been sitting back, taking all the abuse. And not it's not just been abuse. I've had a lot of people like give me love as well. In fact, more love than abuse. But the abuse seems to stick out more for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> Especially yeah, when you know you're telling the truth. Because that's where abuse you know, kind of goes to this other topic. Because I've seen your right. comment section with this. Uh, Quantum yeah. Dreams officially going multi -plat. Now, your comment section was pretty telling, uh, Foxy. A lot of people saying, oh, Sony lost another exclusive when they were <laughs> never exclusive to begin with because they never signed a deal. They never really like were owned by Sony. Yeah. They, they, had, just, a, they had an exclusivity they had, deal, which they had, expired. They had a deal. Yeah, it's like a contract. Contract yeah. did they sign back when the PS3? Because remember, if I remember correctly, and even Broken Games HD uh, pointed this out. Shout out to Broken Games HD, but he um he showed the original um article where Microsoft rejected Quantum Dreams back when they were first uh making Heavy Rain. Y'all remember that? They didn't want that game. Yeah. So yeah, I remember that's why it happened. So yeah, happens. Yeah, I called this in, like a few months ago on 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 RGT. In fact. <laughs> Well, Microsoft were in talks to um, to tie them up, but it, they didn't want to go with Microsoft. They they rather go with the Chinese communists. <laughs> <laughs> they just wanted wanted liberty and freedom to do what they wanted to create, and Microsoft was not going to be the platform for them. Well, That's the just yeah, how we turn this into shit on Microsoft. Well, God damn. Microsoft. No, nah, because I mean that's the only viable option. <laughs> you guys twist everything into that. God damn. No, I mean, the Chinese have the world's most powerful console. Everybody forgets about that. They've got it. Rising. Nobody knows about that, <laughs> Craig. I saw that thing that you shared on Twitter though. Yeah, they got a Ryzen build with a uh, with a ma major GPU upgrade. So they no, they did the right thing. Man. They did the right thing because yeah. I'll tell you why. They're too good. To be on one platform, they were never first party anyway, so it's not a loss. Sony didn't yeah. lose anything. They were only a second party studio in partnership only. They were already multi platform before the Sony uh, PS3 mm -hmm. in four years because they released games on the Dreamcast, mm -hmm. they released games on the OG Xbox. People would forget Fahrenheit and those games there that yep. got released on Xbox platforms. It's only because Sony were more interested in the narrative. Uh, type game, you know, the deep narratives. Sony <laughs> were in tune with their vision of storytelling, right? And they wanted to fund their games. Like, they funded, like, how many projects did they really fund for them? Three or four? Four, yeah. isn't it? About four tops, right? Yep. I mean, come on, that's like a four-game deal. Now you're going to move on. Big deal. Yeah, and like, in talks right now with Insomniac for the same type of deal. They're people are acting like Sony's platforms are never going to see another Quantic Dream game. Uh, right. Yeah, no, you're going to see other Quantic Dreams games. It's just going to be another platform. It's going to be like The Walking Dead, but done in AAA style. That's pretty much it. Yeah, but remember this. A lot of a certain community said, oh, we don't play those movie games. No, nah, it wasn't even movie games, Fossey. So you got <laughs> I gotta correct you. No, I gotta correct you and Craig. It wasn't even a movie simulator. It was walking simulators. That's the yeah, yeah. Walking. It was a dishwasher don't simulator. Don't play child <laughs> simulator. So you don't want Detroit become human, obviously. Well, when the Detroit become human, when that that dude that was abusing his daughter had that uh, connect on top of his TV, I hit the floor laughing. Like man, they took shots. <laughs> Did really, he had an Xbox underneath that TV with the connect on the top. If you if you look at it, that's what it is. I'm like, oh my god, they've got a connector in here. They're making fun of it. So it's really, uh, really, is that really in the game? I'm gonna look. Yeah, I never know. know it's that. in the game. Yeah, right look. Yeah. But no, uh, they. I agree that um, it, it's a um, look. I've said this before that they, they want the same. They go, look, I'm the Messiah of Xbox. I'm in charge of that community. Okay, <laughs> so I this because I want them to be, you know. But at the end of the day, when 
they want the same games that the PlayStation community has. They just yeah. thought Xbox was going to give those give them those games. They thought third party developers were going to always be with them because they were with the 360. They Very went true. out of their way for the Xbox, you know, or Sony concentrated on first party deals, you know. <laughs> and, it's not, and people who might call that slander, it's not slandering. I mean, it's literally just yeah. going off of what was said. Like, I mean, a lot of stuff was said. This stuff was said. This isn't stuff that was made up. Yeah, Microsoft know? did turn it down and to their screen. I mean, you and they would not have produced a game like Detroit on that platform. That shit was too racy. For them, it just is. It's too edgy for that audience. You know that that brought up some real nasty things. You know, I'm praying, I'm I'm praying, praying, uh, pushing I'm, the hardware for PS4 uh, or PlayStation consoles. Like I really am going to miss them for that port, uh, particular yes. aspect. Because PS4, that scene where with uh, Detroit, when you're walking and he says "hands up," you put your hands up, you start quoting Malcolm X. Yeah, well, you like have that, that, was, that was really, really good. So if you go, if you choose the stuff on the left, that's from Malcolm X. If you choose the stuff from the right, that's from Martin Luther King. Mm-hmm. So, MLK, MLK. yeah, so uh, it's here's the, here's the thing. let it's me like, just say this, though, right? Right, equal. I'm not bitter, I am not bitter, right? Quant- Quantic Dream has provided me hundreds of hours Back. of wonderful entertainment. And I am not bitter. If this makes them go on to bigger and better things yeah. and bigger budgets, more investment into next gen technology, because they are masters of their craft. And I will still support them. I don't care that their games are on other platforms. Who cares, man? Yeah. And if they were to say we're going to be with this Chinese console, and that Chinese console comes out, I'll look into buying it. It is the world's most powerful console. This I'd, have, I'd, I'd have been upset. Yeah. If Microsoft bought them. And they weren't on any other platform, but yeah. Microsoft. That, that's what people think. Uh, that's what's going around on Twitter, and I'm kind of looking at that weird. It's like, okay, so you are hyping up Microsoft buying Quanta Dreams? I mean, like, Quanta Dreams is not looking to be exclusive like that no more. They're not. They never were. They had never had that idea to be exclusive. They wanted their games on more platforms. They just, you know, they honored an agreement with Sony because Sony gave them the resources. Mm-hmm. And not, not only that, look at, look at the biggest example of what just happened recently with Bungie. Yeah. Bungie got tired of being an exclusive base that, only that, developer. That expired, they were going. And they want to they wanna branch out. All these companies are going to branch out eventually. They're not going to stay within yeah. the same confines of doing the same repetitive games. Do this, do that. They're going to try to find different ideas because you get worn out. People don't understand that these developers get worn out with the same ideas, the same things over and over again. They yep. need to start fresh. Yeah, because Destiny, if you guys think about it, Destiny shouldn't even be on PS4. That should be exclusive to Xbox because that was going to be their next project that they wanted to do. But uh, Microsoft said no, so they branched mm-hmm. out. You know, so that's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of these companies want to branch out and try different stuff. Yeah, and well, people got to remember that. Bungie, Bungie, Bungie are lucky then, aren't they? Because if it was an Xbox exclusive, boy, that would have tanked because look... Look at the look at Xbox hasn't done tremendously well this generation, has it? Yeah. No, not and really, it, not much. Bungie is closely aligned with Sony, so EA walked into Microsoft's office. They pulled down their pants and they said, "We'll make the exact same game as Destiny. We'll call it something else." Mm-hmm. We'll I ain't gonna lie though. Uh, I gotta give David Cage, you know, the guy who worked yeah. the Quantum Dreams. I gotta give him a shout out though. He actually redeemed himself from Beyond Two Souls. Beyond Two Souls to me was a letdown. I did not like okay. it. Well, it was a I beautiful love it. I love it. I, I couldn't love get it. into it. I'm telling you why I couldn't get into it, Fashi. I yeah. like the style, right? I like the concept, but when you get to the desert, I lost all interest. I'm sorry. When yeah. it got to the desert. that girl was a little bit pasty. His name is uh not David, David by the Cage, way. David Cage. No, it's not David Cage. It's David Cage. David. Yeah, He's David. French. Oh, okay. Not David. Yeah. So, no, nah, um, yeah, um, nah, that's just, uh, I just, they missed the ball on a lot of stuff this gen. The Quantic Dream, yeah, like, I agree with Fox. I mean, let them go. If they want to go develop for whoever, uh, I'll, I'll make my way to, to their games again. I, I thoroughly enjoy Detroit. I like Beyond Two Souls. I still haven't played yeah. Heavy Rain yet. Yeah. So uh, you got play heavy rain, bro. Get heavy rain on PS4 I and got play that. Because when you get to the taxidermy, ta- uh, taxidermist, I'm telling you, the taxidermist is probably one of the creepiest ones. Oh, and, that's all right. well, as long as it don't that, was, that was that was DLC, wasn't that's, it? Yeah, it's included. Uh, he got on PS4, so you know it's what? Included. It's an amazing game with an amazing story, but I couldn't play it again. I don't. It's too. 
the, the controls were too experimental at the time. I, oh, they, yeah, yeah, true, 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 true. You have to do too much with the pad, man, to get through that game. It's all right. Yeah, one, yeah, go yeah. back again. Uh, yeah, which they did some of that stuff. They did minimize that in Detroit. But, uh, yeah, I mean, again, I'll, I'll, I, I will miss them, but I agree with what you were saying, Ryan. I don't know why people think that Sony owned that studio. They don't. <laughs> I mean, they, they never – Developed, uh, right? They just gave know, them the budget and allowed them to make their game. That's it. Yeah, they gave them free budget, and they they was like, you know what? We'll honor this deal because you guys are so good to us. That's basically it. Yeah, yeah it was a people let them a spokesman. You know, so I don't think they parted and with people yelling and screaming and throwing chairs at each other. So here's how it works: they pitch Sony, they pitch Sony. Yeah, they mm -hmm. all have to pitch Sony. Even Sony internal studios have to pitch a new game. They can't. They don't just go up. They don't just say, here's a game we want to make it. Oh, Sony gives them the money. It doesn't work that way. They have to fight for that game to become something. Yeah. yeah. Like you got an idea and you do a little demo and you show Sony, this is your, this is the Guerrilla Games. This is Naughty Dog. These are these big internal studios that work for Sony. They have to make a demo and show storyboard and all these kind of meetings first to get yep. green lit. Because it's not as simple as saying, oh, well, you're a first party studio here. Here's 50 million. Here's 100 million. Nah, yeah. you've got a pitch. And that's what Quantic Dream did. They pitched Microsoft. They pitched Nintendo. They pitched Sony. They pitched wherever they could go. And Microsoft turned them down the first time for, some, for one particular game, which I can't remember. And Sony decided to work with them. That's yeah. all it was. They yeah. were never a first party. Yep. Yeah. Hey, um, to clarify, True Woody, um, I don't hate Beyond Two Souls. I like the game. It's just they, uh, I don't know. It's certain parts that just kind of took me out of the experience. That's what I'm trying to say to you. That's a different way to play, but no Beyond Two Souls. We don't. I get didn't. Enjoy. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, we don't yeah. get it though without Beyond Two Souls. So it's just, uh, it's like people were saying, no Jar Jar Binks. Then there is no Gollum. No Gollum, no Andy Circus, no Andy yeah. Circus. I mean, we can go on and on and on. But uh, at um, the end, you know, I did. I fall to answer your question. Is Heavy Rain good? In terms of comparing it, because remember, there's three David. There, there's three games they made. It's number two, and uh, Detroit will be number one in terms of their yeah. best games. So I would say Heavy Rain is number two right now. So yeah. Detroit's stunning. I mean, that's yeah, it's, it's just amazing. Game. Detroit won me over completely. Yeah, my game is to to play Connor. He did a great job too. So yeah, I still follow him on Twitter. So he's a cool dude. Yeah, yeah. he's pretty cool. That's yeah, cool guy. So uh, yep. and he will tweet you back as long as you're a cool dude. He does tweet back. So yeah. I think that's all my topics. I think we went through everything. I think that's it. Oh well, this is a quick one, but um this is a panel question, obviously. Do you guys want a uh, Dino Crisis remake like Resident Evil 2 remake? Yeah, they, if, it, it, if, it, if it's open worlds, yeah, they just gotta open it up. Yeah, Resident I want, a I want a dinosaur game, open world. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want a small corridor game stuffed with dinosaurs. Put me in an open space, please. And I love those those noises those zombies be making. But if you play Resident Evil, play with the headphones. There's a reason why the default setting is to headphones. Hey, you got to play with the headphones on because you can hear the wind. You can hear the, the things creeping around because of the, the surround sound that the yeah. headphones provide you. You get it. It really doesn't allow you to zoom in on where things are coming from. And there, therefore, that adds to the jump scare. So, well, you know, unless, unless you've got a, a 7.1 speaker setup, yeah, use headphones. Yeah, you can do that too. Yeah, but uh, yeah, the headphones, yeah, it defaults. It's like with, um, Anthem, Anthem defaulted in default mode is headphone, so it's not. You know what? I know you're saying what you're saying, but mm -hmm. I, in my experience, whatever they defaulted the options on, it they're always usually rubbish. That's true. <laughs> always right. have to, right. I, always I, have to, I always have to change the developer's options to what suits me because I agree. It, I always find it rubbish, like the sound settings that they initially pick, and you know the graphic and brightness. It's always crap. I always have to adjust things. Yeah, well, like me, I, yeah, I have to invert things. Like with Anthem, the entire way that I play is invert versus... I have to make things harder. I have to turn off auto-aim. I've yeah. got to do a lot before I start a game. Otherwise, I can't play it how they want me to play it. I want to play how I, I want to play yeah. Right. Resident Evil, kept in the mode of the first black man we see, he gets killed. 
Like I was mad about that. Oh, God. If he comes as a black character, he goes. Oh. You know, so but that but besides that, I did like I did like the game. It's got a fake Mr. X and I killed two liquors. So mm. I, I like the game. Love, loved it. Matter of fact, you know what I kind of want though. When we, if we do get a Resident, I'm sorry, Devil May Cry, uh, not even Devil Cry, a Dino Crashes remake like Resident Evil Two, I want to see that whole situation like with the first one when you first see the T Rex and he eats uh, Cooper. Oh God, I would like to see that done. Obviously in the modern style, I would love to see how they would capture and do that. That'd be so great. But man, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's pretty much it, though. If anybody else has anything they want to talk about, nah. Wow, no. I'm out. I'm pooped out of every. Anything. Let's wrap it up. Nah. Right. The weekend. <laughs> uh, who you guys got in Super Bowl before we close out? Patriots, damn it! And I don't care what anybody else says. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, enough of that. Um, you guys? He says Patriots. Mm, okay. I'm rooting for my chips and salsa. That's it. Don't hear me. Mm-hmm. Who's saying it's a uh, beard? I'm gonna have. let's go Rams because uh, you know, it's the Patriots. Fuck the Patriots, <laughs> okay? Yeah, I can understand that. So, mm-hmm. I mean, y'all could keep on drinking that hater read, it's okay. <laughs> y'all hear something? It ought, be, it ought to be a good game. It was like last year's Super Bowl. Was that that was, I mean, those teams just went up and down the field with each other. The defenses got paid to do. shit. You know, so the last year. So what the way? I mean, you could say F bomb to Tom Brady, but guess what? He got more rings than Joe Montana and has better stats than Joe Montana. Oh, fuck that Super What Bowl is that screen. noise? I hear this. I, weird I noise. am I British. Let's shut this down. Have your, yeah, have your American Super Bowl talk. Let's get All right. Right. Let's, yeah, let's, let's, wrap, let's go ahead and wrap this up before we go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> let's go ahead. Oh. Uh, guys, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. It was so much fun. Hope you guys definitely enjoyed yourselves. All right. Everybody was great in the chat. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the show. I'm going to go ahead and let the panel get their outros out. And I'm going to close it down. Go ahead, Carlos. Hey, once again, man. Very blessed to be here tonight. Just having, you know, the good old gamer talk and just, you know, talking about games and other things. But as always, man, gamer by choice, not by trend. And we out of here. All right. Craig Harris. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Thanks for the vine. Man, it was a great podcast. Everybody here. Shout out to everybody. And uh, yeah, just play, play your games, people. Check, check me out. I, I'll be streaming. Uh, I don't know if it'll be. Uh, yeah, I'll be streaming, you know. <laughs> but I do want to check out the Kingdom mm-hmm. Hearts thing. You all keep those streams going. Those are fun to watch. And uh, But, uh, yeah, shout out to everybody. And uh, keep playing the games, people, or the terrorists win. All right. The Fox. Well, first of all, I want to be a total gentleman. All the ladies in the chat, if there's any in there, say nighty night and kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, obviously, I won't be watching the Super Bowl. I'm British, so um, but I tell you what will be happening on Saturday no, Sunday, sorry, Sunday, Sunday, Game of Couch podcast is back on Sunday. Oh, yeah. this Sunday at 5 ET, 10 p.m. UK, 11 p.m. if you happen to live somewhere else in Europe, and uh, play games, not corporations, yeah, but Game of Couch Sunday return. Yeah. You'll see us over there with one of them gamer couch. So definitely. Right. Yeah, the brother, the brother on the gamer couch. Let's go. That's definitely Star the shining bright above you. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, Mitch. If he's still alive. Oh, my bad. Hey, um, <laughs> everybody, have a great night. Thanks for showing up and uh showing love. Uh hit that like button. Uh, I'm gonna try to convince Ryan and them to stream some anthem right after this so stay yeah. tuned to that either on ryan's channel or you could follow me on twitch.tv slash real medications and tune into us you know messing around and uh playing destiny 3 i mean i mean a- anthem <laughs> all right <laughs> if, you really, uh, if you guys haven't uh, done so already go ahead and join the rgt discord we had that live for you guys so definitely uh join that and stay up to date you guys can add any questions that you want to the show and also uh, hit us up, you know, directly there. All right. 
I'm Ryan the Professional. That was the show. Thank you guys again. And uh, we are out of here. We will see you guys next week. Y'all got you guys enjoy your weekend. Hope you guys enjoy yourselves and just uh, be blessed. We out of here. Bye bye.